Hey, this is Ross Payton with Real Plain Bubble Radio, and we're playing Chew, the uh, Forged in the Dark uh, game. Uh, this is part two of the Nomcoin conspiracy. Uh, so, because there is a thing called Nomcoin, and uh, there's a conspiracy about it. Ooh, spooky. Um, <laughs> in the last session, immerse me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Chu is a uh, forged in the dark role playing game about uh, f- people with food based weird powers investigating in crimes and causing them. Uh, it's based on the uh, comic book series. Uh, if you're listening to this in October of 2021, it's on Kickstarter right now. Go check it out. Also, I want to note, uh, I don't know if I mentioned last time, the, these are the playtest rules. Uh, where This is not the final published game. So uh, if you have the final published game, if you're listening to it, and uh, I do something differently, that's why. Definitely not because I misunderstood something. It's definitely Wait, things the- can change through the course of a Kickstarter? I want every piece of money I have ever spent back. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean... Yeah, that well, this is the one game that does that. <laughs> Every other game, hundred percent, uh, has been the same. Disgust. False advertising. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, in the last session, the players uh, who are all three agents of the FDA, uh, the Food and Drug Administration, which has a lot more power now because of uh, a uh, chicken virus, essentially wiping, killing tens of millions of people worldwide. Um, and chicken has been banned and the FDA is in charge of that ban. They've just been investigating weird food crimes, uh, because a gov- it, like any agency or bureaucracy, they seek to expand their portfolio, uh, so they can get more funding. And, uh, yeah, the, so yeah, they investigated a murder of Sandy Bontel, a, uh, competitive eater who was part of food tube, a, online video site where people post videos about food eating it cooking it all that fun stuff and they were at GrubCon, um which is a convention for food tubers and fans of food tubers uh so the uh they they figured out who killed them which was uh steve 570 a ration eater um who had the weird power of gaining military skills from eating antique rations uh, but the, he loves that hero food. <laughs> Definitely an original character. Do not, Do not steal. steal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Steve, uh, they captured him after a dramatic rooftop battle. And uh, he has revealed that uh, he killed Steve or Steve killed Sandy uh, in order to keep his mouth shut because of some unknown conspiratorial act involving nom coin uh which is run by a man named satoshi marlow uh also original character do not steal uh and the um so yeah as we begin you're you've been called back uh to the sleep easy inn uh the site of grubcon because uh many of the guests uh have gone missing um, and nobody knows where they are. And since you already solved the murder there, they figure you might have some insight into this new case. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, let's introduce our characters properly. Uh, Thad, please tell us about your character. Oh yeah. Um, I'm C- Caden Morla- uh, Morbeef, uh, and, uh, I'm a low life. They say, uh, I, I think I'm just a working guy, you know, and, uh, I'm a, I- I'm a freelance spy. That's what I would say. Some might call me a snitch. That's, uh, that's a good way to get your mouth bloody, but that's not my business. Whatever. Uh, a slight uh, problem. Uh, with, uh, look, I like Surge. I need Surge to, to maintain, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's what I need to keep mm-hmm. going day to day. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's me. Yeah. Uh, so you're a consultant uh, with the FDA, we'll say. <laughs> uh, at least that's how they classify you on their you know, accounting Ledgers. Yeah, got to fill in those forms, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next up, Caleb. I am playing Clint Rudeberger, uh, the inspector for the FBA. Uh, I am a um, criminal chicken tender addict from a uh, tribe of trailer park folk. Um, <laughs> and I use my genetic myropolarianism to um, sniff out. Illegal chicken products. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, and finally, we have a a Ron. Nope. Hello. Uh, I am playing uh, Dinah Mama Ma- Maple, uh, a recruitment agent for the FDA, although I've been asked to come on this assignment because of my uh, unique abilities to be able to create working technology or machinery out of any particular piece of food. Mm hmm. Uh, so yeah, the three of you have had, uh, some downtime, um, and as we begin, it's probably, I guess, the next day, um, let, let's just sort of, like, how, how you get to work, um, Caden, I'll say you're out of, uh, surge again, you, oh, yeah, um, it goes by faster now, you, you're needed, well, I mean, uh, I had to use some, make, to make that, that drink for, uh, Wastelands the other day, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, are you gonna try and get some before you get into work? Oh, I better. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Uh, <laughs> All right. Look, I uh, need. I it's it, it is a responsible thing to keep your to keep your head on straight, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, your last source was tap, so you need to get go to a new source. Who's your source? Hmm, that is a good uh, question. Well, one of the other players can suggest a source too. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, I off the top of my head, I would say. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, one of my gear is I do know a guy. <laughs> you know a guy. Uh, they're only uh, known oh, as. Oh no, the- wait, they're- I'll I'll get surge from the 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 weird guy that I got like uh, screaming while like pouring food uh, into your eyes video noises from for our plan last time. Uh, well, uh, uh, Aaron, what was your suggestion? Oh, okay. Was- oh, I was gonna say. Uh, well, you would do that. Just his, his name is only known as the Tap. The tap. All right. Oh, okay. Oh man, I don't want to talk. He's okay. All right, I'll talk to the tap. Whatever. It's it. I I gotta. I gotta. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I gotta get it. It's fine. Okay. So the tap runs um a uh a soda shop. He he calls himself the soda tap the soda jerk. Um, <laughs> and it's it's a bit. Um, he, he, he specializes in boutique flavors and, uh, brands that other people don't get. Um, but you know, there's a bunch of shifty people in line, uh, waiting to get their fix. Um, so I guess the, the tap is happy to sell to you, but you need to cut to the front of the line. So how, how are you going to cut to the front of the line, Caden? Cause otherwise, if you wait, you, you'll be late and yeah. you, have, you have to deal with uh director Tyson Zaxby um, oh no, that's fine. I don't like him anyway. Yeah, well, he, <laughs> he's definitely going to try and get you to buy some paste uh if you're late. I don't know. That would be pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I mean, I, I suppose I could, I could do some, I could attempt some, some charm on on the folks here. Okay. Uh, would I charm my way through the line? All right. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm just gonna use fucking weird gossip from GrubCon to like strike up conversations while slowly shifting my way around the uh, the folks that I'm talking to. All right. Uh, that's definitely a mouthy uh, way of doing yeah. things. Um, so yeah, that's this what I was is thinking. The, yeah, controlled. This is a controlled dress. It's pretty safe to do this. Um, and mm-hmm. pretty standard effect. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and roll. Mm-hmm. Come on, only two dice, but I can make this work. Oh, are you digging in? Hmm? No, because it would it would be oh no wait, yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> yeah. Uh four. Okay. Uh so you get to the front of the line um without much of a problem. Uh but uh one of the uh guys uh will say um, actually, you know what? Uh, Robert Marsh is also in line, and he, uh, the 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 fast few uh, food reviewer of the week, um, has a grudge against you now. All right. Uh, and, <laughs> and so next time you get a complication, he'll show up to get revenge. He, he's a little. He he's trying to get some good sodas before he heads back to his coastal village in uh, Massachusetts, coastal fishing village. Uh, what was what was his original name? Do not steal again. Uh, he he does uh, he does fast food reviews of the week. He reviews fast food. No, I mean, what was the character's name? I, I missed. Uh, it Robert Marsh. That was it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you get your your get get uh, your surge in time, and you're on your way uh, for your briefing. Um, Clint, um, what's your morning routine like? Oh, uh, actually, I, um... 
you know, okay, could, never mind. Well, no, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I want to give you an option. Um, that, or yeah, you could, yeah, we could you. just talk about the conversation you have with uh, Mama Maple uh, in the break room before the briefing. So, um, about like the next case. Uh, so, to give you an option, but you can do your morning routine if you have something good in mind. Uh, no, it's it's fine. Uh, howdy, Mama Maple. Um, oh. Morning, dearie. How are how are you sleeping after last night? Oh, fine. Ready to find some dead food bloggers, you know the usual. Uh, I'm hoping that they might be a little more alive in this game uh, than we had before. Um, but you know what? Always picks me up though. Every single morning, though, is the particular as like is the particulars of my cinnamon bun hubcaps. I have they have not been used on my car today since it is in the garage. Yeah, that's totally relatable. <laughs> I just certainly know what to say to that statement. But back back to work, uh, dedication is important. No, I'm just, I, although I, I, all right, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. I'm sorry. But, uh, but I am curious to see what these disappearances are since we've both caught what I thought what we thought was the main proprietor of this uh uh bit uh, it's like digital food currency uh, yeah yeah we got to find that uh their nomcoin crypto fella mm. oh that's the that's the the difference in there hmm so I wonder if that's like that's you like you know crypto if- it only exists to buy chicken tenders with it's Really, just a fuel for crime. Uh, <laughs> well, chicken is the root of all evil, as we've noticed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, cut to uh, the briefing room. Um, ah, morning, everyone. Who's ready to administrate some food and drugs? What? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you've been doing that all night, dearie. No, only the one. No. Oh. Uh, so Tyson, uh, Director Tyson, uh, Zaxby comes in and he is, um, uh, hands you out uh, a briefing paper, but stapled to it is a brochure for Pastelint. Uh, and he kind of, like, when he hands it to you, he kind of taps his finger on the brochure several times and makes eye contact with each of you, uh, mm-hmm. before continuing on. Um, <laughs> not in this lifetime. Uh, Mama Maple, what does it say on the brochure? Oh, for Pastelint? Yeah, yeah. Um, why bother with flavor when your no, it's like nutrients can come in a long discuss. Uh, it's like a, a long bland tube. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, there's a stock photo of a woman, uh, l- touching a wall and looking sad. Uh, <laughs> before Pastelint, and then a. Uh, uh, the same woman uh, eating a salad and laughing, or eating uh, a photoshopped pastelant salad. Uh, I, I feel like the, the the mascot for pastelant would just be like a very uh, un, uncomfortably smiling version of the NPC meme. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Um, so, uh, have a, uh, good morning, agents. Um, congratulations again on capturing. Um, the murder suspect. Um, we have a very strong case against him. Unfortunately, uh, we have been contacted because a new uh, felony has been committed in the vicinity of um, uh, the the site of GrubCon. Uh, that is to say, um, uh, uh, 39 people have been reported missing, all of them who were out of town, attendees of GrubCon. Um, this is being... Treated as a possible kidnapping um, or hostage situation, the the uh, surveillance uh, initial indications from the scene indicates that the people were somehow let out uh, by ho- people in hotel employee clothing, um, but we we are not sure who those people are. Um, the the people include several um, large adult adult sons of uh, prominent politicians. And, I was going to ask uh, why they uh, why they jump straight missing persons this early. Well, yes. Um, so we uh, because of the uh, the 
family relationships of some of the missing people to uh, people in power. We have de- we have uh, taken this uh, case in order to. So, provide so a are the yeah. uh, are are these mostly attendees, or are these some of those uh, those content creators who we were um, shaking down they yesterday? Were all attendees, as far as we can tell, none of the uh, um, vloggers. Floggers? No, that doesn't sound right. Nah, that's about right. Flugers? Uh, Flugers, yes. Um, they were uh, all present, uh, at least uh, according to our initial reports. Um, the, um, the, the surveillance tapes are still at the hotel, uh, but you were to find the people, um, find out who took them, and of course, uh, undoubtedly, this is related to some other crime. Uh, I have no doubt that you will be able to uh, find them and um, deal with uh, the the perpetrators. Uh, are there any questions? Mm-hmm. How many uh, were missing again? Thirty nine. Uh, it's a gaggle of food bloggers. Uh, well, none of the, some of them did have blogs, but they were mostly fans of the floggers you're you're not a fan of a food blog without opening a food blog it's uh it's the fentanyl of kind oh of yeah no that's just contagious it's spreading <laughs> across the land like a plague mm, i see <laughs> well you are um, you're the expert in this i i've given up all sorts of food media since i have switched to pastelant and i found i've had much more free time to organize my uh taxes um and do housework and uh uh to mow the lawn to a much higher degree of precision and accuracy um, because I have all this free time now. So it one sounds of the like a charmed existence theory. It, it is. It is. Uh, uh, it is one of the many benefits of Pastelunt. Um You should try it. Um, but that, that is a personal recommendation, not, not an official recommendation that would be unethical. Yeah, no, uh, that'd, that'd be, that'd be real bad. That'd be some talking upstairs kind of thing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so um, get to it. So um yeah the the initial report is sketchy they you have a list of the 39 people that have gone missing um but that's it the the evidence is at the hotel well at least some of it is you don't know where else you don't know where they were taken to they're clearly not at the hotel anymore um so yeah uh I feel like you probably need a couple of trucks if you're going to be hauling off that many large adult sons <laughs> 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 Yeah basically um so we have the names of everybody that mm-hmm. were, were kidnapped. Uh, do we have like this by chance, like now, this specific information about which uh, that's uh, which person they were following the most from the convention? Um, you could figure that out. Okay, uh, let's see. That uh, would be probably. Uh, I would say instinct because that is sort of the perception uh, trait. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, controlled risk right now, but limited effect. Because you're just googling okay. this right now, um, okay? Basically, so if you go to the hotel or talk to people who are like the the GrubCon organizers, for example, you probably get um, a little more information on that. So, okay, well, on um, uh, better effect, like I mean, the, but you may it may be riskier. So, yeah. Okay, um, I'll do this yeah. right now just to see what I get. Okay. Uh, that'd be one. Oof. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. I uh, I don't haven't done a lot of research in a Wait, long time. <laughs> Did you roll fate dice there, Aaron? I think you rolled fate dice. Oh wait, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Good job. No, sorry, I, I forgot what I rolled. <laughs> so we're we rolling the last time. Uh, oh yeah, that's just the one d six. Yeah, yeah, just one d six. <laughs> Bit of weeks so. up. Hey, six. So, hey, all right. Oh, uh, so, <laughs> I um, whenever you take a week off of gaming, Aaron, every mechanic you've ever learned just fuse <laughs> into this <laughs> sticky Werther Originals bowl of dice mechanics. Look, there's a lot of dice in the world. <laughs> there are a lot of dice in the world. I, I don't know why I thought uh, I, I thought fate. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they were all fans of Sandy Bontel. 
Hmm. Well, I mean, the guy was coming to him then. We can kick off for the day, right? Apparently, he's very popular with the large adult sons of the world. Uh, um, all right, so you're you're doing some research at the office, uh, finding out links between all the victims. Um, do, do we know specifically what Santel did to get um, attacked for? I know well, he was, was, that was his, in the like, way of Nomcoin, but how? That was his like, like taking over the um, like the exclusive deal with uh with food tube right and well there was like a that was the initial motive but um Mm -hmm. steve uh confessed that because sandy was bragging about a special contract he he thought that he would leak the the secret about nomcoin oh Uh, okay i got like he can't keep his mouth shut you better shut it up Mm -hmm. uh so it was like a preventive thing to keep sandy from accidentally uh, leaking information about something uh, he did with N- uh, Nomcoin. Well, I mean that that Sandy guy does seem pretty thick. Maybe we should just uh, maybe we should just toss through his personal effects and see if he wrote anything incriminating down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is what I invested in. <laughs> Here is the address for for Nomcoin's evil headquarters. Um, if I am yeah. murdered, this is who murdered me. <laughs> Well, so okay, so Mama Maple's researching the victims right now. Um, Caden, what do you want to do? Actually, I was thinking um, might want to talk to uh, May and Junko because they uh, they got they got some low life connections, and if we make it look like this will keep us from looking at their little underground ring, we might get something out of them. Okay, because we haven't we haven't talked to them since we figured out what um, you know what yeah, the they were up club. to. Yeah, yeah. So we got uh, a little bit of leverage there. Uh, you do have a little bit of leverage. They're still in town. Hmm. Um, you can head, uh, so you can, but you probably want to talk to them in person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. So uh, that, that could just be like on the list of things to do. Okay. Uh, well, what do you want to do now though? Do you want to go <sighs> find them and talk to them right now? Or do you want to like, we're, yeah. I don't know. Do we have anything that needs more than one person, uh, at the moment? Uh, I mean, off the top of your head, you know, someone does need to go to the hotel and look at the surveillance footage and look around that place to figure out more details about the incident the kidnapping um and that could be more than one agent because yeah uh so but yeah also talking to uh may and her son jonko uh, i mean quite honestly my appetite's pretty low so i could use some backup even when i do go and talk to him yeah you could also take some downtime off and just like remember you can't use your down two downtime oh, activities yeah. during the investigation so you could um Go like uh uh so yeah have a a scene where you just kind of go to somebody you know and mm-hmm. uh relax for a bit uh yeah uh let's see here do 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 the downtime activities uh rest and recovery mm-hmm. yeah so that's only thing about uh Clinton do you know what you want to do I will I will go check at the convention center okay that seems like something we need to do yeah it yeah. is something you need to do um. Yeah. Do you want backup with that, or uh, should I? Yeah, get in here. Rest right. Okay, I'll I'll save my relaxation for a little later. Okay, uh, so the two of you head to the hotel um, while Mama Maple's researching the victims. Um, you get there soon enough. Um, same same hotel. Still smells of lots of different food. Um, <laughs> the the distant odor of con funk. Con funk. Yes, we'll call it that. Uh, so, um, but it's much fainter now because, well, a good chunk of the attendees are now missing, and the, the con is on hold because after the murder, they're like, "Well, this is not bad." And then after the well, look, mur- yeah. murder is one thing, but loss of the, our large adult son demographic—that is a serious blow <laughs> to this convention. Yeah. Uh, so the um, the front desk clerk is there. Uh, I already recognize it. He's like, oh, thank God you're here. Um, I have the footage right here uh, if you want to look at it. Um, and uh, we're, we, we really do want to get these, these people back. I mean, it's really bad for our um, Yelp reviews if, uh, you know, there's murders and kidnappings conse- on consecutive days. Uh, it's Oh, yeah, I could, uh, I could yeah. definitely see kidnapping be way way worse than murder because the murder person can't leave a bad review. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Uh, well, I mean, friends and family <laughs> do, weirdly enough. Um, so, uh, yeah, you could just uh, watch the footage. Uh, this would be controlled. Um, pretty standard, though. So this is gathering information. So it would be instincts uh, to, to observe 
figure okay. out the basics of the uh, the crime. I will, I will roll my two dice control okay. on that. Mm-hmm. I got a three and a four. Okay. Um, so with a four, uh, partial success, um, I will say, uh, I'm going to advance your, uh, Leroy, your cousin, uh, grudge, uh, complication up by one, uh, out of six. Mm -hmm, Uh, mm -hmm. you have to spend some time watching the footage and you're, when long you're out in the field, you know, sooner or later, Leroy is going to find you and hassle you for some surge, uh, Clint. Um, it's only a matter (laughs) of time. Yeah, I don't know uh, how that shit comes up. That's real weird, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but here's what it seems like uh, you find the room. Um, well, you, you find the large adult sons pretty easily. They're, you know, the big guys kind of wandering around. But um, Do they wander in packs? They do wander in small herds, <laughs> yes. Um, blocking Migrating. hallways, yeah. Uh, but something seems off about them. And uh, hotel and footage. Pool- on the footage, <laughs> not, yeah. not just generally. <laughs> yeah, um, you can't because you only got a f- partial. You don't get like you don't fully figure it out. But you do see people in hotel uniforms uh, start pointing and pushing them, sort of like hurting them in directions, and they're they're seem to be fine with it, and they're just hurting them into the back. Um, and you do find the security cam for the loading docks uh, in the back where they bring in, you know, uh, uh, industrial, uh, you know, pallets of food and other supplies mm-hmm. that the hotel needs to run and loading them into semi trucks. Uh, and then the semi trucks uh, head out. So they, they were literally loaded into. Well, it was actually they, they could fit 39 people in one semi truck. So, yeah, even a large adult sons. Um, so they were mm-hmm. loaded into a semi truck and the semi truck drove out. Now, the cameras are low res so you can't get a license plate off of that um and there's no discernible logos or brands or you know uh, uh on the truck at least from the the shots that you see but you do have a timestamp. um it, yeah it I looks swear. like yeah um and then the hotel employees that herded them uh them get into the truck uh so uh and you know do we some, yeah do we see any weapons or anything or are they literally just hurting them in there? They're just hurting them in there. Um, oh yeah, no, that's weird. But yeah, the, the fact that these, uh, one, at one point, one of the large adult sons trying to wanders off and, uh, one of the hotel employees literally seems to poke him with a stick, but there's a flash of light when the <laughs> stick makes contact with the large adult son they and, uh, cattle prodding them. Yeah, apparently. Uh, um, and they, they, it seems to to get the desired result. Uh, they, they uh, yeah. So, um, I guess I guess that means they're armed, sort of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it certainly makes it kidnapping because they had a weapon to coerce. Well, I mean, them. it might be. I think it might count as rustling. Can you can you rustle? <laughs> can you rustle large adult sons? Is that is that crime? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm pretty sure rustling is a, definitely a crime. I mean that's 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 more of a that's more of a bureau of land management problem or something, right? Is that us? Well, you I can't you can't <laughs> voice this off of them. Think of what it'll do to your budget. Um, uh. So um, <laughs> that's what you get with with your uh, initial survey of the video footage. Um, now you can interview people. Uh, you could go to the places that you saw on the tapes to look for clues there. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, uh, at this point, uh, Mama Maple, you have caught, you have finished your research. You have, you found okay. their, their commonality that they're all fans of Sandy Bontel. Um, what do you want to do now? They've, the other two have gone to the hotel. Okay. Uh, I will go and join them. Although do I have a, the full list of, we had the full list of names of whom mm-hmm. everybody were there. Yes, um, Ross, list all 39 of them for us, please, for immersion. <laughs> so, no. I can, I can do that. You don't think I can. <laughs> Um, I, I, I we know you can, Ross. I don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't fall into don't fall into the the bait here. So no, um, no, you 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 want to be immersed? I'll fucking immerse you. God <laughs> damn it! Here, uh, but I will take my car back up. Uh, and and we have do we have silly questions? So with the identification, do we have like pictures and everything from from these people mm-hmm. so we could identify them on site? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to go to, up to the convention center and review uh, some of the security footage from where they are 
and see if you can start kind of tracing where they might have been during the night before they went missing. Okay. Um, uh, so if you're trying to get a timeline of all of them, um, Mm -hmm. that'll be, um, yeah, you can do that. Uh, go ahead and give me another instincts check. Okay. Uh, let's see. Actually. So to possibly, I mean, honestly though, this would be training, uh, which I know you don't have. Yeah. Um, So, well, I could, I could make a suggestion to one of the other two. Who well, might you can dig that, in so. to get a die in it. Um, That's and, true. And someone else can assist you to get another die. Okay. Uh, I'll say you've caught up with the others at this point. So you're all at the hotel. So Okay. Yeah, um, I'll go ahead and dig in to at least do this. Uh, let's see. Utilizing kind of uh, well-aged, since this is at, at tabulation mm-hmm. and this kind of information is basic police work. So w- this is the tried and true method. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'll ask, uh, it's like, ask Clint if, or Caden if they could possibly, uh, it's like, run some of the numbers with me as well, or t- to see if we can figure out where these people were. Uh, I wonder what approach that would, uh, that's, a, that's a little too straight laced for me, I'm not sure I have much I can apply to that. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, it's not really bold, um. And it's neither bold, half baked, nor mouthy, so I don't think I have much I can offer you there. <laughs> yeah, I would say plenty, plenty bold, plenty, plenty bold. <laughs> I think that's different than actually bold, Caleb. <laughs> oh, <laughs> talk about flavor. So, um, I would say you could do it. Uh, it'll be risky. Uh, it'll be a standard risk though, instead of controlled. Um, okay. So just a drawing attention to ourselves. So, all right. Yeah. 2d6. I got a sixes again. Okay. Nice. Uh, so here's the thing you, you figure out um, with all of them, their timelines. You actually think back to looking. You have their names, and um, they uh, your, your, your stroke of genius is actually realizing you can talk to the, the GrubCon organizers and getting – like their itinerary they they you had to buy tickets for events um you know especially those that where they got food um or no. got autographs yeah so um they all 39 people were the 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 only 39 people to attend Sandy Bontel's buffet food challenge and uh meetup oh so uh yeah they all attended that event um, the night Ooh, before they went missing. No outbreaks. Yeah. yeah. Everyone, not, you don't go to a Randy Santel. Excuse me, uh, Randy, San, Randy, Randy Montel. Sandy yeah. Montel. I don't, they don't, original, original character, do not steal. <laughs> yeah. Beneath the dignity of names. <laughs> the unnameable. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so all of their big ones, uh, well, it, we, this, uh, pretty much everybody who went to his. So, well, if uh, we got a little, if we got a little bit of information to give uh, a little extra oomph to it, that might be a good time to uh, uh, meet up with uh, May and Junko and see if they uh, they might have something we can shake out of them. Well, couldn't be a bad idea. So, if nothing else, I can give that person some tips on uh, not burning a uh, burning a bunt cake. Look, I, that ship has sailed. All right, now this is sh- this is not her making mistakes. This is her make do, making mistake into a craft. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so the uh, uh, yeah, you know, actually, May and Jonko, uh, you don't have to roll. You know where they are. They're going to be. They're preparing for their next uh, fight club. Um, so they're going to be uh, here. I go fighting again. <laughs> here I go fighting again. Um, <laughs> Well, remember, May's thing is that um, I actually forgot to... I had a name for her power. Um, She is a uh, CBO Enduro. Uh, She turns raw food into blunt weapons by quote-unquote cooking it. Hmm. Um, And Jonko is a CBO Endure uh, Vescor. Uh, He can eat uh, blunt uh, food. Blunted food. uh, Hardened (laughs) food. And survive. So he can... He's the only person who can actually eat May's food. Uh, without it. Oh, so he can destroy the evidence after it's been used. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a perfect, it's a perfect <laughs> run. Uh, so the, um, let's see here. They are at the, uh, oh, oh, they're at the Burger Duchess. 
um the the well the the abandoned burger duchess they i mean they sell they sold burgers but their chicken tindy's business was um too much of their their bottom line so after mm-hmm. the chicken ban they they shut down um so uh but you know that's where the underground fight club is held um that you know where may would be holding court uh so <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> yeah <laughs> uh so yeah you can talk to her for more information um yeah if you want to Sounds have we to gained me. information about the hotel employees um Never. oh no you've not Three really people? figured out who you haven't really figured yeah, out I mean, who those the herding people um i mean yeah i mean if they work there they should have like names and addresses and stuff right i mean um, i was i was presuming since they got in the trucks and left with them that they were just wearing the uniforms but i mean that's fair they could have actually been real employees you or could at least go interview the the managers uh and other employees you don't have to like you know canvas them and see what they know show them the footage and ask who those people are mm-hmm. uh so um that would be charm probably right. Control- I will, yeah i will try that okay okay i got a four okay uh leroy draws closer um it takes oh you no <laughs> uh yeah clocks the greatest tool of suspense in uh the blades in the dark system ports of the dark um so you talk to the manager um let's see here uh her name is carla gordon and carla tells you um no those people aren't working for this this place i mean look at them they they're mostly tall they walk with purpose um they... <laughs> not at all like a motel employee yeah, they should be yeah. crooked and beaten down by the <laughs> yeah that i mean that guy's arms are roll the uh, sleeves are rolled up you can see the muscles in his forearm the the, the sinews uh you know um bristling with energy um yeah the the uh uh I do know that one of our uh, someone broke into our laundry during GrubCon, um, and a bunch of our uniforms went missing. Um, so whoever did it must have been an expert military uh, uh, veteran because they picked the locks and disabled our state of the art laser grid security system. Um, you know those uniforms are expensive; they got like brass buttons and shit. They're way more valuable than the actual employees. Um, so if you get those uniforms back, I'll, I'll give you a bonus. Um, yeah. Uh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that was not helpful. Uh, cool. <laughs> well, okay. If it's, if you don't think it's helpful, I mean, uh, I mean, well, we got, they, they just stole them, right? Yeah. But you have a clue about who stole them. Emory Steve, the guy we already captured. Yeah. Well, he, he, you don't know. I mean, he obviously knows more than he was letting on. Okay. Wait, did he die at the end of the last one? I can't no, you captured him. Okay. He's in. J- you can have a whole interrogation scene. Yeah, you got. All right, yeah, like- I'll go Hannibal. Uh, <laughs> talk to him, or he's Steve, and whatever Dolly he is strapped to. <laughs> he uh, eat hero food and escape. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So, all right. So you head back. Downtown. Oh, I, I have a bad idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is it, Mama? Lisa? Mm-hmm. Do do we have any of the MREs that are available for uh, that he uh, that he left behind or was? Oh trying yeah, to... you seized all the MREs as evidence. There's how a lot many of them? Th- how many of them contain charms? Charms? Um, oh, yeah. like the little mushroom? Uh, not mushrooms. Uh, marshmallows? Little, no, no, there's a little hard candies, kind of like uh, just, uh... oh, several of them. Okay, <laughs> can I get those? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to do a tag team interrogation. I have an idea. Okay. So. Uh, all um, right. So you and Clint head down, down to interrogate, get the, get the charms and prepare your interrogation of Steve. Um, Caden, what are you going to do? Uh, I guess I'm going to go and, uh, talk to the underground fight club people. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, you head there. That's closer. Uh, so Caden, you hit, get to the burger duchess. And uh, there's a couple of big guys uh, leaning against the back security door. The windows in the front door are all boarded up, closed up, uh, and say, Ugh, "Piss off!" Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Uh no, I'm gonna. I'm actually. I need to go in there for the uh, illegal fight club thing. Uh, now I have this. Uh, 
I have this this badge here, which I wasn't. Pl- I'm not planning on caring about using or thinking about while I'm here. But if you make trouble, then I can't just go in, have a chat with Miss with Miss May, and leave. Instead, I have to remember that I have this badge, right? And I don't want to do that right now, yeah? Because these, let- these these FDA letters they cause trouble, and I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm here to have a nice time. You gonna let me have a nice time? All right, this is definitely a risky charm uh, with a uh, pretty obvious complication. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Look, so- FDA is a fucking serious organization. I'm going to use that muscle when I got it. <laughs> Six! Yeah! All right. Nice. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, if you're just here for the, the... Yeah. All right. You cause trouble. Look, I'm a- Look, I'm a contractor, mate, and I'm not on contract right now, but if that change, I don't want that to change. I want to be here in my off hours and have a nice chat. All right. Don't cause trouble. Me, uh, Badger, no, you'll, uh, it'll be bad if you cause trouble. You get me? That's fine. That's fine. I just, look, uh, we, we all, we have a, it's, it's a social contract, mate. I go in and I don't cause trouble and I leave. And if trouble happens, yeah, you might give me two in the back of the head. And then the, the FDA shows up and breaks every part of your body into tiny powder. And we all have a bad time. And I don't want any of that. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> true enough. So uh, you get you get inside. Um, the fluorescent lights, you know, flicker and buzz overhead. Um, the place uh, reeks of stale meat uh in greece and uh oh french fries uh, mm. oh yeah. nice yeah so it's and, good ones cooked in the uh, cooking fat yeah her son jonko is behind the counter is like oh look it's you yeah hello. it's me hello how are you doing i'm a well, good good uh good good lineup tonight we're uh, putting together a good show every night's a good night here bloke <laughs> Well, all right can i can i talk to you can i can i talk to your mom i feel like if i try and go back and forth with you we'll be here all day what what are you oh what are you saying there mate hello i would like to speak to your mum. what well, well, it's about she's back cooking again yeah yeah no i figured uh look Got to we... make the weapons for tonight's game yeah i mean that's pretty direct isn't it uh yeah. <laughs> Well, I need to talk to her because I figure you, uh, you two have uh, have some connections, right, to the uh, to the to the broader, let's say, uh, indie food scene, yeah. And uh, my my uh, my FDA mates, they they uh, they trying to clean up some more of that mess that's connected to uh, to uh, the stiff Randy uh, uh, Sandy rather. And uh, I figure I could I could talk, back, I could do a little back and forth with you. And since you know, uh, I don't want to cause any trouble. With your with your with your bit here, yeah, because it's not connected to any of the cases we've been through. But uh, just to make sure that I can say a nice goodbye and not bother you anymore, I wanted to have one nice la- last little chat so that I can stay out of your hair, yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, can I interrupt um, for a second? I'm going to have to hmm. card the use of the term "stiff Randy" near me <laughs> ever again. So, <laughs> All right. oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, sorry. If stiff. we could just veil that out of my vocabulary for the rest yeah, of my yeah, life, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Card on that stiff, forever. Stiff Sandy. That would yeah, be that would uh, be great. Uh, um, yeah, even, thank you. That's even better when I remember the name <laughs> of the character because uh, then it's alliterative. Yeah. Well, <sighs> do I have to tap the badge again? <laughs> well. Well, I was about to shoot my weekly video, and uh, I only have this amount of time. And if I'm, mm-hmm, the, and mm-hmm, if mm-hmm. she's talking to you, I have to be there. Uh, mm-hmm, she mm-hmm. doesn't want to talk to you alone. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So um, help me shoot my video, and then yeah, you can talk. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Listen, mate. Uh, that's not how this works, yeah? Because uh, the longer that I'm here, the more FDA folks who I contract with are going to want a, a timetable of, you know, where I've been, what I'm doing, that kind of stuff. And I don't want to draw them to your nice little establishment here. I just want right. to have a quick chat and be gone. <laughs> roll, roll charm. This is a <laughs> controlled risk. Um. All right, I suppose. Uh, yeah, no, nah, screw it. I'm just going to do the one die. We'll fucking, we'll see yeah. what happens. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Six. <laughs> uh, I was just going to review this, um, these uh, uh, beef jerky things. Yeah, that, that that's. 
Oh uh, yeah, you yeah. Could have no. reviewed it too, but no, I guess not. You don't want to. Yeah, get... no, I don't. I don't think me being on uh, on camera in your incredibly popular and and obviously beloved show would be very good for like keeping on the down low. Yeah. So uh, no, no, no hate. It's because you're so good at this that I don't want to draw an eye on me. Yeah. Okay, come this way. <laughs> Uh, so Jonko leads and Jonko leads you to the, the, the kitchen where Kay is back at it. May is back at it again. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, downtown, um, uh, Dina, uh, Mama Maple, what, what are you doing with these charms? Um, before I do, yeah, I, I take, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to go ahead and use my, uh, uh, scre- uh, Creo Skater powers mm-hmm. to basically make each of these uh, t- each of these charms into uh, try uh, basically a, a, a small popper, essentially a small noise maker. Okay. So that when you put your mouth in it, that's like and it goes and it starts to go uh, become a little bit wet. It'll activate and basically just make a loud noise. So to really uh, to try to scare anybody <laughs> okay so, uh all right you can use those they'll give you a better effect when you use them in, in the interrogation okay um but it will still be risky um yeah. so um do you want to take a first whack at a steve 570 uh or do you want to interrogate them together with clint uh we could do it to, uh, clint are you okay with doing it together and i'll let you take on the lead until i'm ready to come in uh yeah sure right. okay uh, so yeah, window uh, interrogation room with a, you know the one way mirror. Um, Steve is let in in handcuffs. He's like, nice, <laughs> quiet room. Nice. It's not. There's no <laughs> screaming and men throwing feces at each other. Nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's he's if nothing if not adaptable apparently. Um, so yeah, uh, Steve is there. Oh, not you. No, that's not nice. Oh man. <laughs> uh, you gotta smoke like maybe a 19 world war ii cigarette something like that <laughs> no lucky strikes um, on us dearie could i My could book. i have a smoke what is yeah. that what does it take to have a smoke well to have a smoke a normal cigarette that would be oh nothing. i don't want a normal cigarette you uh roll funding uh for your fda you have one in funding so it's a 1d6 can you dig in on funding uh yeah i'll let you do that Okay, I'm going to dig in on funding. <laughs> I got a four. All right, so you do have a uh, um, a lucky strike. I want a World War II French cigarette. Oh. From, uh, from the Magnon my- line. Something that aerosols surrender into his lungs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You, you want a Maquis special? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, you do have uh, a, a French World War II cigarette. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> you'll have to uh, hear a pestilent presentation. You agreed to do a pestilent presentation uh, okay. uh, later oh, no. on. So um, <laughs> you know, it's basically like an hour of hearing about how great pestilent is. Um, oh, no well. obligation, though. Um, free. free yeah, sale. yeah. No, it's it's just, it, you get. Yeah, it's a, you get a free lunch to go to this uh, this. <laughs> In time so I got uh, every CRT television my parents ever owned. <laughs> so the uh, uh, yeah, so you have the cigarette. So you hand him the French cigarette. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's all right. So you get a much better effect now when interrogating him. Um, he starts puffing on it. You don't know. Um, how long it takes for it to affect him, or if he pretty clever like, trick you played there, Steve, with the laundry uniforms. What'd uh, you eat to learn that? Mossad rations. Well, um, I found I got access to um, a special Spetsnaz ration uh, for their Siberian warfare unit, um, <laughs> the uh, Turbo Tunguskans. Uh, <laughs> And it was very nice, nice. Uh, but uh, the uh, wait, I want a deal uh, before if I'm going to say anything. I'm in. I, uh, Steve may not become uh, uh, an antique, and by antique I mean dead. Uh, if Steve uh, keeps talking to you, 
Uh, so, uh, roll charm. <laughs> All yeah, right, I, I will try that. Um, can I get an assist for? Yes, I will lend a hand with you. Yeah, with your with your poppers. Uh, the. Uh, is... uh, yeah, I'm actually going to use tough cookie on that for the approach, specifically looking at him and bringing it out of my uh, the breast pocket of my jacket, just mm-hmm. looking at him directly with the charms there to see that I have them. Okay. Are Are you rolling or am I? Uh well I can uh, I was just rolling. I don't I was know just, what tough cookie means. That's why I'm. Uh, that's, that's, that, that's my that's my approach. So. Remember that's you have approach, to use yeah. an approach in order all right, to all right. uh, land a uh, hand. So. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will roll then. All right. Uh, six. All right. Oh no! Don't please. Uh, I somehow feel like surrendering and collaborating. <laughs> with you. Uh, please oh, that's... don't and don't use those poppers on my teeth. They're so, so fragile from all my antique cigarette smoking and <laughs> ration enjoyment. I don't go to a dentist. Steve can't, even with his money, he can't I have to spend it all on rations and not the dentist. Well, I, <laughs> there's no milk. I don't have any calcium. I'll, I'll calcium actually lick. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mom is going to lick one to activate it and throw it on the table and let it go off. Yeah. I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> also, it's so the, loud. Oh, yeah. Actually, oh. the reason I also chose those charms is I learned from I learned from Jason uh, that yeah, Marines would throw those out because they're just ungodly bad luck. To <laughs> they feel like they're yeah, yeah. You don't even talk about them. You have those, you die. I don't. I don't know why. All I know is that my part of uh, there was a plan that we had to do that uh, Satoshi told me to, and my part of the plan. Um, was disabling some secure or getting some uh, uh, key cards in hotel uniforms um, and putting them at a drop off spot. Uh, 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 you know, Sandy had something he had to do before that. Um, all I know is that Sandy got some sort of bag of looked like something powdered in it. Um, and uh, the. And my and I yeah you know, I was told just to to get the uniforms and the key cards, um, so I did, and um, but I was afraid. Uh, and then afterwards, of course, Sandy uh, or Satoshi called messaged me to say that you know Sandy had to be shut up because he kept if he can't keep his mouth shut about the contract, he couldn't keep his mouth shut about the other thing. So um, that's all I know. I swear. Uh, but with that, you can ask more questions. Maybe he knows something he doesn't realize he knows. So, uh, yeah, they ask, uh, who, that's like, who, do you, who are you meeting with in the drop off? Did they have a phone? No, I just had to put it, I put it in a, um, a hotel cart outside room, uh, 137, um, at 9.05 PM. Uh, and I just had to walk away. So, um, I put it in the hotel cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I put all the stuff in a duffel bag. I put that in the cart in that little middle section. That's you know, uh, and because yeah, and then I walked away. I don't know who picked it up. I didn't look. Okay, so that could possibly be on the security cameras. Oh, it sure mm-hmm. could. <laughs> um, yeah. Any any other questions? I'm trying to think, what else? He hasn't had any paste on it before, right? I assume. <clears throat> no, he's not. Do you want to try and get him to buy into Pastelant? <laughs> Can we That's feed my... him some Pastelant? Yes. I mean, that might be violating. You know, uh... there's, there's a question of whether or not, like, does it have to be military rations? Or I mean, we don't even know where Pastelant comes from. This could go completely sideways. You should definitely. Well, I mean, it. he's strapped into a prison cell. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're gonna feed somebody Pastelant, this seems like the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm pretty sure they already do that in the prison system. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, you can give him paste one. Um uh that 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 counts for your director's uh, uh quota. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh Steve still has a bunch of subscribers he can afford to pay for paste one. <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah, he is uh he he he, is, he he tells you I've already transitioned to turns out prison food is kind of like hero food because they're kind of heroes suffering in an unjust uh, prison industrial complex except for the people I mean, actually you know kill people um maybe they deserve to be in there but i i don't know i have complex feelings about that but anyways <laughs> there's a lot of variance in this type of food and um 
there's this whole thing called turlet wine. I, oh man, it's it, there's interesting vintages. Um, so I'm branching out, and uh, fortunately, I have enough money that I can afford to keep vlogging in there. And uh, it's part of my First Amendment speech. Yeah. So thank you. I'll try out this pastelant. We're, we're um, closely observing his pastelant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, it's reached human trials. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so meanwhile, uh, Caden, uh, you you oh, yeah. reach I... May. Um, she is uh, what? What is she cooking right now? Um, uh, okay, so it's got to be a blunt weapon. Um, hmm. I mean, she could make anything into a blunt weapon. Like um you if you've studied your files you see like she's turned soup into a, a bludgeoned shape of <laughs> a cooking pot you know it's like yeah see i was gonna say somehow she ha- she is in the midst of turning a nice lasagna into a baseball bat yep that's exactly <laughs> what she's doing uh, it's just shards of lasagna noodle like sticking out the side so it's a nail bat mm-hmm. <laughs> but no cheese all right, so she sees you. Yeah, hey, I'm back at it. How are you? Oh, you know, making uh, making the day work. Uh, look, I uh, I had a couple of things I wanted to ask you, so I could be out of your hair. But um, it looks like uh, uh, your your uh, your your friend Sandy. Uh, you know, rest in peace and all that. Uh, every single person who uh, went to his little uh, event the other night has been uh, has been packed up and, and run off by some very hard looking gentlemen. And uh, I wanted to see what uh, what info you you know you got you got a nice business here. You 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 work with a lot of people, a lot of people in and out. Hear a lot of chatter. I figure might uh, touch base with you, see what you may know about uh, about Sandy about uh his his connection with this uh with this uh, satoshi and nomcoin and uh once we once we have a nice little uh conversation i can finally just be out your hair fda not looking at anything over here uh, doesn't have anything to do with the death the other day and uh we can have a nice uh handshake and uh you can get back to your scraps down here yeah okay uh May uh, approaches you. Uh, uh, Swear, well, I got got a good tip for you, copper. No, I. Right. Uh, all <laughs> right. Um, let's see. You uh, roll. <laughs> how would you avoid? Uh, how would you detect someone trying to uh, uh, shove you down a pit? I or, mean. Uh, Trap I mean, door. I would say I would say instinct for one and uh, bold for the other, since I'm just sort of striding in, knowing yeah, but that what, I'm stirring what up shit. In the word salad, uh, what what kind of verb is that? Is that? Oh, I see. Um, do 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 do. do. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be from the word salad. It's just like what I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the uh, smell. I'm smelling trouble. Yeah, you're smelling <laughs> trouble. All right. <laughs> Um and you're you're it get you get a nose full. Uh hmm. so go ahead and roll. This is uh going to be uh desperate uh in terms of risk. Um okay. and uh but the effect is very uh gonna be you're gonna have pretty good effect. Um so even if okay. you have an application. So all right, so would that be instinct then? Uh yeah, definitely instinct. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh four. <laughs> All right, so uh, the complication is she does shove you uh, onto mm. a, a particular uh, floor panel, which turns out to be a trap door, mm. and uh, you fall down into the underground fight pit. But she mm. does yell out to you. She says, oh, yes, we gathered. Up. I had Junko gather up the food after the buffet. I did. And uh, something smelled off about it. It did. Uh, not like my own cooking. And uh, I, I fed it. To one of the uh, peoples who's in debt to me, a uh, degenerate gambler. And, uh, ooh, 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 you, you, you get to see yourself. Um, so you turn around and you see a, um, just a large, mis- badly shaven uh, dude uh, who whose eyes are glazed over and mm. starts shambling at you. Uh, and just moaning. Uh, uh, he's he, he's coming right at you. Uh, what are you gonna do, Caden? Uh, I'm gonna. Hmm. 
What am I going to do? Uh... You could try and find a way out. Uh, maybe even like parkouring off the dude's head up to climb back up the trapdoor. Jump on uh, him like a Goomba. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, you could. Try uh, and... Yeah, actually, no. Yeah, that's that's actually right. that's half baked enough to uh, to make sense for me. So I'm going to basically attempt to like jump up, bounce off of the guy, and try and like climb back out. All right. Uh, that's definitely guts. That's definitely risky. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm, a, I'm also going to dig in on that. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, extremely half-baked. Uh, so that'll give me two dice on guts. Holy shit! I got a six. <laughs> what? Yeah, tell, what does it look like? Uh, uh... Uh, I, uh, I, I land on the ground. I get up. Dust myself off as she's like yelling her her uh, expl- her her villainous explanation of what's happening, mm-hmm. and then I uh, you know what because of the cartoon bullshit of what is going on here, I pop open my flask of surge. I take a huge <laughs> gulp, <laughs> like fucking Popeye, and I just jump and then double jump off of that asshole and back <laughs> up toward the trap door. <laughs> Uh yeah, so you, you do that. Uh, May falls onto her ass. Uh, Jonko is stunned. Uh, he he is uh, was reaching for the lasagna bat, but is now stunned by this uh, 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 turn uh, reverse uh, reversal. Uh, and May is like, no, no, please, please don't. I was just having a bit of fun with your copper. I'll tell you whatever you want. Um, yeah, there's something off about it. I have another. I there's still some of it in the freezer. You can have it. You can have it tested in your labs with your 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 microscopes. Hmm? Microscope. Hmm? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. I uh, I uh, I sort of saunter over to her and like reach a hand down. It's like, oh yeah, sounds like a deal, eh? Look, if if you think this is the first time someone has tried to off me for showing up and running my mouth, I mean, come on, business is business. Come on, get up. Okay. Uh, so you have a <laughs> sample of the food. Do you want to ask her anything else? Uh, yeah. So so where where you where is it? You got this again? What's the From what's the, the, the Sandy Bontel buffet meetup? Mm, um, yeah. All the so I do saw- you. You Jonko know anything was about going what... to go to it, but I said, you can't go there. It'll make us look bad. We can't be seen uh, fraternizing with the enemy. So uh, do you know Do you know if this is something that Sandy sourced himself, or is it something provided by the venue? Well, oh, it was, uh, it was, it was uh, made by the hotel. Yeah, we had contracts. We had to make all the food oh, all right. uh, on site. That was part of the deal. That's why they were so eager to have us. Um, right. But... Um, you know, I do, but I, I smelled it before it went in and it's fine. You know, typical hotel food. A bit soft, a bit too chewy. If oh, yeah, no. Yeah, it's not, a bit runny. Definitely not. Not, not like good northern British food. Um, so how long How long did it... I gesture <laughs> I gesture casually toward the trap door. How long did it take him to turn out like that? Oh, it was not too long. He um, And he's getting ornery. Um, mm. But it, the food, when I picked it up, we went in to scavenge it for the, you know, we always need raw supplies for the fight club. Um, so we snuck oh, yeah, in yeah. and got it and it smelled off. So me um, think Sandy did something to it. Um, it was fine before, not fine afterwards. So that's why I fed it to the man. It was in debt to me because I was suspicious of it. And May's always right. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. All right. Well, you, uh, you all have a good show tonight. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be out of your hair. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, actually, can you, uh, can you uh, give me a pass to one of the fights later? After this case is over, I might want to watch one. Oh, yeah. Yo, go, yeah. Uh, John, go give him his pass. Uh, do you want to plus one? Uh, oh yeah, actually, I might, I might, ha- I might have someone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good working right. with you. Have a good one. All right. <laughs> I'm just off. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> you have evidence now. I'd say at this point, uh, all three of you can re sync back up and share information uh, about what you have gathered. Um, now have a new clue from the video footage, so you can analyze that. I'll say you copied it from the hotel, so you don't have to go back there. <laughs> Although you can if you want to like investigate things on the on the scene, um, but you also have the um, footage, uh, or you also have the food. Sorry, the footage. Uh, 
the footage. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> you have, you have those leads. Um, and yeah, what do you want to look into first? Yeah. Uh, May offered up this nice little sample of, uh, something that makes, uh, makes people go all shambler. So, uh, that, that's probably why they were so easy to, to get in the trucks. Apparently the hotel offered it according to her. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, we may want to look into what sort of contracts are set up for catering and such. That might be that might lead us to whomever possibly took the drop off package that uh, Steve left out by the door. Yeah, and probably see which uh, whatever weird science coat wearing people we can have to take a look at. Oh. <laughs> Always a fun of the job. Mm. Uh, so yeah, can we re- review the. Uh, security footage around that room or at least it, it, it was yeah. there a camera near that hallway there was and uh so you go to the time statement you do see a hotel cart uh out front of uh 137 you actually realize um a very large man um who looks familiar uh pushed the cart in front of the room uh not a maid uh so and then he goes into the room 137 um and Several and then at nine oh five, uh, Steve comes by, puts the a duffel bag in the cart, you know, uh, in the middle part where it's obscured from view. There's like a little piece of cloth over it, so you know people can't look into what what the cart's carrying. And then he walks off, and then like five minutes later, um, he the large man opens up the door to one thirty seven, grabs the uh, duffel bag, and. Uh, goes back in the room um, and then uh, yeah uh, then that's it like he doesn't leave the room as far as you can tell okay and when you say a very large man is this uh, Bantel no it's not it's not Bantel it's not Sam is, is he as big as uh, like uh, waistlines like big big nope. or? no like tall and muscular Oh, okay. Oh, so okay. like, so like an operator, not a uh, a chugger, mm-hmm. as it were. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you see, yeah. it was, he looked familiar, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, I mean, we saw we saw a bunch of huge dudes in the 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 herding footage. That's Is it one where of them? you saw him. Oh. Yeah, he's one of the people disguised. Mm. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. Thinking about where we would at least go around there. We, uh, has that room already been cleaned out by chance, or? Um, you call them up and, um, the manager, uh, Carla tells you that room was actually closed. Uh, it was not available to be booked, um, because it's an emergency booking room. Like they, 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 they set some aside just in case they absolutely need to give it away. So it's like, uh, nobody has, nobody had, uh, checked into it for all of GrubCon. So it's Mm -hmm. supposed to be empty. So like they don't clean rooms that don't have guests in them. You should look at that right now. Oh. Okay. Uh, So you're driving back to the hotel? Yeah. Okay. Uh, So the three of you drive back to the hotel. I suppose uh, before we leave, we drop off the uh, the food sample with the uh, some sort of, I don't know, uh, food forensics, food forensic scientists. Uh, so yeah, you can do that. Um, that would be having the lab do analyze it on their own. That would be, um, a, uh, clearance, uh, to see how fast and effective, uh, that is. You have one die in, in that, in that agency, uh, in, in terms of your clearance. Um, right. yeah. Um, could oh, I lend a hand through? Oh yeah. You're uh, a mascot. You, you, you're good yeah. at that. Okay. Uh, let lend a hand through Sweet Pea. Like I, I know you're terribly backed up, and there's so much that you have to go through. But if you could be help us out, this would be so. We would be so grateful. Uh, I would be willing to try the macaroons again, just okay. for you. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So that's two dice. Mm-hmm. Mm, four. Um. So you'll get it back, but uh, I'm making a lot of fours and sixes with these dice. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, um, Leroy's yeah. clock advances uh, by two because uh, it'll take it some time. Uh, <laughs> but after you investigate the hotel room, you'll get some lab results back. Um, so uh, yeah, the three of you head back to the the hotel, and the uh, Carla lets you into the room no problem. Um, so one of you can roll instincts to investigate it and figure something out. I will do that. All right. <laughs> Controlled risk, obviously, because it's. Fucking gathering information. Two fives. Nice. 
Um, the the window. This is um, uh, the window has been tampered with, um, and so by something mechanical, uh, not by like you know something something that made scratches into metal, uh, the metal frame of the window, um, inside or outside the window. Um. Well, you definitely see it inside, but you also see it outside. So this, even though it's 137, it's actually one story up. It's on the second. It's basically like when you look out the window, it's 10 feet down um, because, you know, that just it's on the slope. The building's built slightly on the slope. So anyways, um, but uh, when you go around outside to look at it from the outside, you also see scuff mar- marks on the in- inside as well. Um, and there is a security camera. Uh, pointing at the back of the building from uh, across the street at the uh, did we give a name to the gas station uh, chain? Um, uh, th- I don't think so. Yeah, it's just the gas station. So there's a gas. I station. I mean, I think the one that I went to in the first was just a Circle K because you okay, know, yeah, classic. it's a cir- it's another Circle K. So yeah, um, so yeah, if you go there, you can look at the security footage. Um, I will the- do so. All right, so you go in there. There is a. Very bored, very um, just thousand yard stare woman in her young 20s behind the counter. Uh, she's like, can I help you? Um, I need your security camera footage, miss. <sighs> We're out of stock. I'm sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> um, Ma'am, I'm going to need your security camera footage. I'm with the FDA. Yeah, wait, we don't sell chicken. I, sm- I sent the air. Uh, Is there's that chicken. true? There's- <laughs> <laughs> uh can i find like exactly where it's at uh yeah it's definitely in the uh supply closet the lock supply closet uh why do i hear screaming from that supply closet what? What? no no you don't There's oh no... someone's calling for help well i guess <laughs> i better open it up what with the probable cause <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. That's not probable at all. That's I, I don't hear. That's anything. highly improbable. Cause what you're being <laughs> murdered. Better hurry up and kick it in now that wait, I don't have wait, this. Wait, 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 okay, okay. Please, 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 please. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, th- there's th- there's nothing in the supply closet. You don't need to look in there. You want to look at the security footage? Uh, uh, okay, yeah, sure. Your uh, my manager won't mind <laughs> at all. Come, come, come on, come on back here. Uh, all right. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she let you, she let you look at this footage. Uh, cops are good and fine. That's, that's what, <laughs> that's what we know here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the, you look at the surveillance footage, um, and focusing on that and it's pretty small. Um, but you do see at one point, um, fitting the timeline about, you know, uh, two large, People, I mean, you can't, there are more silhouettes at this point, go mm. to the spot uh, below the window, and then one of them uh, raises his arm up, and uh, it looks like a chain shoots out of it. Uh, mm. a, and uh, then a second later, the window pops open. Um, so you're not quite sure what's going on, but uh, it, it's definitely some sort of chain. Um yeah, it looks like a little bit like that Hellraiser movie my grandson made me watch. <laughs> Why? Would, okay, that's a Who's that's your a. Hmm. <laughs> I oh, mean, I normally I'd say good taste, but if you're making your grand watch it with you, there's something a little off about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just try to be in his interest. That's all. Okay. Uh. So yeah. So and then the two large uh men um you climb up the chain to get into the or one of them uh the one that the that shot the chain up there uh stays below but the other one climbs up the chain and goes in the room through that so that's how they broke in um and they have some sort of unusual chain device um something Mm -hmm. that you can tell it can not only you know be launched with force but also manipulate things like window screws so they can open up the window without, you know, smashing it. So, yeah. Hmm. Uh, unusual, to say the least. Um, all right. So that's mm, new information. Um, but yeah, the, the dude who was in the security footage who picked up the duffel bag is definitely one of the fake employees. So, um, and you have a face. 
We just don't have a name yet. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Do we have, like, facial recognition software at the FBA? That would be funding. How good is your uh, facial recognition software? <laughs> <laughs> Did you go with the lowest bidder again? Oh, yeah. Them underbid contracts, man. They'll get you every time. Yeah, well, I have the usual suspects. Would that work in gear? Like, Ooh. if they have buyers? Oh. Uh, what does the usual suspects do? It is part of my gear. Um a Rolodex of common criminals. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, that would give you better. Ef- that would give you a uh, better effect when you roll uh, on that because you can narrow it down. So um, it won't right. give you a bonus um, die, but it'll give you. But when you roll that d6, even a complication will give you. Even a you know a mid result will give you better. Could effect. someone assist me? And in- yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm Rolodex. pretty low. It'll have to be you. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll do that on well aged again. I've been around the block a couple times, so I know where it's like the uh, the people you've brought in on a regular basis are those who will squeal. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, go and roll. I am rolling. Okay, two fives again. All right, yeah. uh, Leroy draws even closer. You're at five out of six. Um... <laughs> da da da. <laughs> Yeah, Deadly Prey. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely that mu- movie music uh, fits us. Um, you do get it. You get a you get a hit uh, by comparing uh, uh, being able to filter uh, your names and using Mama Maple's expert. Uh, you're able to narrow it down, and you you finally get a very like a ninety one percent match. And when you look at it, it's like yeah, no, it's that guy. Uh, his real name is actually unknown, but he's part of a criminal duo. Uh, that's popped up. Block and chain. Um, they I've probably nothing to read into there. <laughs> well, they're known uh, as being uh, violent, uh, um, not not just hitmen, but like leg breakers for hire. Um, only paid in cryptocurrency. Uh, uh, Block is noted for using a very large riot shield, while Chain uses. Oh yeah, custom, what's the other one use? <laughs> uh, a custom chain. Uh, uh, launcher uh, built into his arm. He has a cybernetic arm. Um, oh, wicked! Yeah. So uh, they've got, and so their their way of fighting is that Block holds out the riot shield, and then Chain can w- safely launch out shots, banking them uh, from behind the shield. Um, and their team, they're they're so well coordinated, they can take out a group of gunmen without a problem. Um, you know. Oh, that's no problem. We're not gunmen. Well, they well, yeah, clearly. <laughs> um, so they're clearly tied into this, um, or chained into it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I forgot. Uh, oh yeah, so you did roll on um, researching it, um, and uh, you get a uh, uh, the lab tells you well, inconclusive, um, but uh, hmm. there is some kind of fungal infection. A uh, fungal spores on this. Um, oh no, I, I don't I don't like that. I'm not um, oof, don't like mushrooms. So huh. there 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 is a expert myconologist uh, who can give you provide you a more uh, useful analysis. Uh, Professor Port uh, Obella. Um, <laughs> he, he yeah, is, nah. yeah, I like an Irishman. Yeah, yeah. Um, he is in town. Um, you can ask him. He can provide you much more information. But it is it is definitely fungal in nature. Uh, uh, there there is some sort of uh, uh, yeah mushroom uh, that is uncharacteristic and has unusual properties. We're not able to uh, identify it. Um, so you need to talk to Professor Port Obella to get a full analysis. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess we go do that. Okay. Uh, so um, he has a place on the ed- edge of town. Um, you look into him a little bit. He is, uh, like I said, an expert mycologist, uh, uh, researching ways to to grow. Uh, his latest, his his last project was to make mushrooms that tasted like chicken, uh, thus providing mm-hmm. a useful uh, substitute. Uh, he wasn't quite able to get it, but he uh, um, he did develop giant mushrooms um, and mm, uh, mm. lives in a mushroom house, uh, a mushroom <laughs> dome. Um, so he 
<laughs> if I hear Smurf music playing from this, I'm just going to uh, run. Oh, no, no, there, there, there is actually a sign. If you make a Smurfs jokes, I will ask you to leave. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. So um, this will Smurf be references will be shot, shot on site. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, there are a bunch of headless Smurf dolls uh, at the edge of his properties and big, big Smurf uh, with, you know, uh, cross through signs on them. Um, and you Smurf uh, me, I shoot I mean, you. it looks silly as shit, but having cheap housing is not a, a bad thing to shoot for, yeah? Yeah. Um, mycelial living. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, the three of you uh, head there. Um and uh um uh a younger uh, man comes out you know what professor uh, obello looks like um but a younger man in a uh with a rather round head and wearing a turtleneck uh uh comes out uh hey what are you doing here oh, we were about no visitors oh, well i mean we were about to visit so i guess we're at an impasse uh. <laughs> I what? start shooting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. What? <laughs> Look, he. Uh, uh, if you're your your lawyers, uh, we don't want any. We we've got enough of our of our lawsuits over the uh, um, shroom Too chicken uh, lawsuits. All right. Did we, you read anything about lawsuits in the, in that file, agent? Um, apparently, he got involved in a lot of lawsuits because he didn't quite promise what he he claimed or what the the corporation he worked for claimed that he they would be able to make a perfect chicken substitute um so uh am i familiar with the quality of his chicken substitute as a uh, man who can only eat chicken and yet is not allowed to uh he yeah actually you did try it and it's infuriatingly close <laughs> oh it's like the uncanny valley of flavor it's the, exactly <laughs> Um, you were so hopeful and yet he p- angered you so much uh, you've gotten over it but you know uh, th- what can you do uh, so uh, I don't know have you come to turn have you come to peace with uh, Professor Obella's uh, work or are you still angry at him Clint? he's at least trying I gotta <laughs> give him that he's at All least right. trying to help my people <laughs> Well, he he gave up though. Like, I mean, he. he well, yeah, he was driven. He was driven out of it by the lawyers. So, I mean, mm-hmm. if anything, you'd be you'd be pissed at the lawyers, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I, I I accept that he's he's doing what he can in a terrible situation. <laughs> All right. So, what are you going to tell his attist- uh, 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 assistant to get out? Uh, I am a appreciator of the doctor's work, and I was looking to consult with him on a, an important matter of public safety. Uh, public safety. Well, he is an idealist. <sighs> All right, I'll I'll see if he's interested. Um, uh, he goes in, comes back. Okay. The professor says he'll talk to you, um, but you have to promise uh, that this is not this is not related to anything about the lawsuits. He no, as far as we know, anything about the lawsuits. Ah, uh, that's okay. not our concern here, dearie. Okay. Um, and also, you don't have any chicken, right? He hates chicken. He, he's uh, sworn an oath against chicken. I mean, it'd be I look sadly bit- down. I do not have any chicken. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> uh, he accepts that. The drought. <laughs> he he lets you in there. The house intel uh, smells intensely of mushrooms. Um. It is the most mushroom you have smelled. You can you can taste it in the air. Oof. Yeah, uh, it smells like I'm breathing dirt in here. Yeah, Oof. it is a very oh, earthy smell. Uh, there, there is the house is shaped like a you know uh, uh, a classic mushroom, but there's more. Uh, there's there's uh, window boxes your class, of more. Your classic mushroom house. Your classic yeah, mushroom. yeah. <laughs> good old yeah. fashioned mushroom house architecture. Yeah, mm-hmm. reject modern mushroom house architecture and embrace tradition. <laughs> <laughs> uh it's like hello laddies i'm professor obella uh would you like uh, a drink of my mushroom wine i mean um, if you're offering if you're offering a drink i'll go for it yeah <laughs> all right it is alcohol with mushroom essence um it is exactly i don't know how much you you're into that but boy it is 
Very much that. Oh, no, I just, ta- I just yeah. realized that in the world of Chew on the mixed six, every month would be food month. <laughs> oh, what a oh, nightmare. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, nothing else is going to get you shiitake face more than this. So, Hey, Aaron gets experience point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yay. Food puns are rewarded here. Uh, David, uh, too powerful. Um, yeah. So, um, you provide him the sample, uh, and he just takes a whiff of it, and he looks very, very sad. He's like, no, no, it can't be. It can't be. What's wrong, doctor? My greatest pupil. He left me in my hour of need. That's why it <laughs> failed. And that because he, he was seduced by the promise of venture capital. Oh, <laughs> my lord, my boy, Satoshi. I, I spit on the ground when he says <laughs> venture capital. <laughs> I would, but I'm drinking another beer. Yeah. And I'm not supposed to <laughs> spit in other people's houses. <laughs> <laughs> Satoshi Marlowe was my assistant uh, before he was, uh, well, was my researcher, really. He was a brilliant, um, he, he, he could feel the essence of the mushroom uh, almost as keenly as I did, but... Um, and when we were close to perfecting the formula for shroom chicken, he, he left because he had been, he had, it was, it was a, it was a noble pursuit, but it was not paying as well. It was, uh, there were, there, the market was very crowded with chicken substitutes and this one was a long shot. It, it wasn't, we weren't getting much money and I didn't care cause I, I knew it, it doesn't even matter if it, I didn't make that much money from it. It was about bringing, make, giving the mushroom the respect it deserved, and but no satoshi he he wanted a quick buck and he was seduced by cryptocurrency but um his plan was unworkable um you see he he looked into i told him he had this he had this idea um and i see he's finally perfected it he was taking another mushroom another fungus um have you heard of cordyceps cordycepes Oh my God! Everybody drink. Ross did a cordyceps thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a type of fungal infection that um, infects insects like ants, and when it infects an ant, it it it, 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 it mind controls the poor thing, zombifying it, forcing mm. the poor ant to go against its instincts and to climb to high, very vulnerable spots where predators will be sure to pick it off, but then it'll be eaten by the predator. The mushroom will survive. It's journey through the intestinal tract and thus the spores will spread and that is how it uh uh uh, reproduces horrifying to the to the victim um that it parasitizes wait so so is anyone who eats that gonna 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 sprout like a a a spore thing or whatever no he spliced it and he has he is um um a natural ability you say uh a fungi arbitrium he can use the cordyceps fungus to cook and um but those into in cook it into a powder that he can then put uh anyone can put on food and those uh that eat this food are um temporarily affected by the powder to they lose they become vulnerable to suggestion and to control Wait, so uh, so he used mu- he used mushroom mixing to make a real life zombie powder. Yes, but you see, his plan was um, these zombies. He could he could alter their minds so that they would actually become very brilliant in certain ways. And in this case, he wanted them a certain type of mathematical savant. Um, oh no! <laughs> he um, uh, cer- there are certain calculations that a human mind can process more quickly than any computer. Um, and these calculations are the ones he wants his zombified savants to solve. Um, and so his plan, um, was to zombify people and have them solve these equations, uh, so that they could essentially mine a type of cryptocurrency. 
Um, and that, that is how he would retain because he said, uh, computer processors and hardware is becoming harder and harder to buy, but there's just people all over the place. Uh, and I could just keep feeding them food and, uh, uh, then the, the, so they stay fed and housed and then they're, they're useful again. And of course I, I, it was madness. Um, it was highly illegal and highly unethical and highly amoral and highly impractical, but, the madman, he must have actually found a way to make it profitable. So, um, that, that is, must be his, his plan. Uh, he, he starts to weep and takes a heavy draught of mushroom wine. Uh, uh from doctor, his. what would he need to operate this devious machine? Uh, well, it was, it was, he called it a, a, a farm, um, a, <laughs> a zombie farm. Um, he would need a large place, um, that was obviously free from prying eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, he would need a good internet connection because they still needed to enter in these equations into a computer. Mm -hmm. Um, thus, thus mining the currency, um, somehow, um, he would I feel like there'd be a problem if these guys weren't very good typists. Like they do the equations, but they're terrible at data entry, so it fucks it up. <laughs> well, that was another objection I had, but clearly he must have solved it somehow. Oh no, um, he found Mavis Beacon. <laughs> Mavis Bacon. Sorry. <laughs> Is this like that typing of the dead game that my grandson plays? Oh, it's <laughs> typing of the dead in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um But I, I don't know. I I he starts to weep. Those poor souls. Who knows what damage it'll be done to them? Uh, but then his assistant comes in and says, "But professor, this is your chance to 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 do some good. You could cure them." He's like, "No, I can't. It's too traumatic. Oh, the agony of it all." Uh, he's, he's very emotional about this. Um, <laughs> oh, hmm. um, but, you know what? I'm, I'm going to use a charm mm -hmm. and f see if I can fi actually. Would I? Uh, it's like, can I use my charm and at least the cooking uh or the well, yeah, how, what what verb are you doing what what so, how, yeah oh you're how, right so the word salad so uh let's see convince maybe convince yeah okay. so i'm gonna con i'm gonna convince them with uh that's like a snack or, or, so, because, or flatter yeah oh yeah okay. that's true so but uh but yeah somebody is uh it uh as brilliant as you not only to create housing but full sustenance out of just that's uh, like this mycelial wonder can only that's like can only intend to do good and can still correct the mistakes of others when they decide to use their creations for wrong. I know that you can do this, and if nothing else, this that's like this particular cream puff can help you as well. Putting that into his hand, okay, and like, um, forcing okay. him to eat it. <laughs> so, All but right. I'm using that as a charm with the the saccharin, so hopefully I can. Get, to get all of his attention on me. Um, I'll let you choose the level of a position and effect. Um, okay. You can do, go, do controlled with limited effect, or you can do risky uh, with more uh, effect. Um, so I'm going to put this as like a four clock um, that you need to convince Satoshi. I mean, not uh, convince Professor Port Obello uh, <laughs> to do this. I'm going to say it's a four clock. So if you do limited effect, that's one. Uh, standard risk is two on the clock. Um, okay, and you need to do this if you want him to come up with an antidote. And obviously, okay. if you fail, um, the clock becomes a six clock instead of a four clock. Um, okay, um, yeah. So I'll I'll go ahead and go risky. So, okay. and could anybody lend me a hand with trying to convincing him? Yeah, I can. I can lend you a hand. I will. I will okay. be mouthy and uh, and talk up the the stuff that he's done. It's like, yeah, mate. Look, you you can't you can't let this kind of inertia get you down. Look, you got so much already in motion. You got this house here. You got this great wine. Like you're a man who makes things happen. Makes things happen okay. for people. Yeah. Um, and the complication will be Leroy's clock will fill up if you don't get a full success. So. Mm. Okay. You're so right. close. So tantalizing close to real. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's see what I can do. So 3d6. Mm -hmm. Do it, do it. Five. All right. So you do get two on the clock. Um, and he, he is that much closer. He is hesitating. 
Uh, but he is, you, maybe, I've just been hurt by the outside world so much. I don't know. The Mushrooms are very sensitive, and they, they grow best in isolated and damp and cold, dark conditions. So it's it's not True. surprising. Um, True, but they're resilient, though. And that means that and uh, no matter what the damage is done, they're... Uh, it's like the spores can go anywhere they need to, not only to help, uh, it's like to support themselves, to su- but to support others as well. But then you hear a roar of a pickup truck uh, from outside. Uh, what what custom car horn does Leroy, uh, your cousin, uh, have there, Clint? Is it La Cucaracha? <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely um, the entirety of Tuesday's Gone by Leonard Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> right. It just keeps going. It, it's a <laughs> six minute car horn. Well, yeah. Um, Tuesday's gone by. It car actually horn. has its own separate diesel engine aside from <laughs> the, 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 the Yeah, the horn also rolls coal. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, he's outside. He's here, um, and you know he wants his k- pallet of surge. Um, so you're gonna have to deal with him, or he's gonna like the professor. You know, someone like Leroy is definitely going to start making Smurf jokes. Um, oh, yeah. No, actually, Agent, uh, I started this up. I can take care of it. Uh, I mean, Clint, get out here. <laughs> no, I'm going to go out. All right. <laughs> you! I hey. recognize you. Yeah, I've been looking for you. You, you must have got the, the numbers crossed. Yeah, uh, need to talk. Yeah, you do. Uh, you're you, by the way, you're yelling it because the the car horn is still going on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's go let's go down the road a pace because we'll, we'll get noise complaints and it'll interrupt our chat. Fuck noise complaints! <laughs> I love them. I love people complaining about my noise. <laughs> I'm leaving. Okay, that's great. I'm not really interested in hearing the rest of this sentence because uh, you and I got business, right? And uh, if you just keep talking, you're not going to get what you want, and you're just going to end up uh, ruining your own day, and you don't want that. All right. Now, so uh, he... <laughs> all right. Get in the truck then. All right. <laughs> Frenchy. <laughs> um. Yeah, he thinks you're French. Um, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's a piece of shit, so I don't really give a shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, Caden, how are, how are you going to deal with him? Uh, uh, I bet, well, I'm going to lie to him. <laughs> okay. Uh, look, I, uh, you know, the, this the, the fucking management man. I got to tell you, they got they they've been spending our, our surge money on this nonsense of uh, what is it, pestilent or some such. Got cut up in some kind of scam, right? So what we're going to have to do is I got this. I, I pull out my ticket to May's Club plus one. Uh, I got this <laughs> I got this ticket to where we can actually make a connection with some real direct surge dealers. You know about May's, uh, uh, these, uh, these underground uh, food fight rings, eh? You, you seen this before? Yeah, uh, I've I seen it. i seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm dumb. I know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if uh, look, I'll have to squ- I'll have to to figure out what to do about the the scam management stuff, right? Because that's you know you don't want to get in- involved in that stuff because that's going to be like you know bullshit FDA paperwork things and all that. So I figure you and I can uh, can go rub some elbows at this uh, this fight. We can take in a good show and we can make a real surge connection, not this like you know nickel and diamond at Circle K bullshit. Hey, right? okay. Um- I'm going to say because you're using the tickets, it's no longer desperate. Uh, it's risky, though. <laughs> um, so that's what the tickets are doing. They're, they're reducing your, your – your, they're improving your position. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, in terms – you can reduce the effect, uh, your risk more, make it controlled if you, you limit the effect. Uh, hmm. Or you could just deal with this in one roll. Um, so basically, do you want to make two rolls or one? Uh, I will make one. Okay, so it's risky. So uh, the complication is going to be um, – well, probably Leeler is just going to, like, beat – if he – if he uh, uh, well, if you fail, he's just going to beat the shit out of you. Uh, yeah, and so, figure. Yeah. Um, if you get a complication, he's going to want collateral, hmm. um, something something to help uh, uh, justify his cause, uh, or something – not just the tickets. He'll want the tickets regardless, but um, – <laughs> and if you get a full success, he, he takes the tickets and goes. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, this would be charm, obviously. Uh, All right. You're, you're lying. Him yeah. Or convincing him. 
Well, I'm, I mean, you know, it might be true. I don't know who's going to be at this fucking fight. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Maybe there, uh, there are happy endings. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. This is going to be bad. Uh, cause oh, wait. Complication I, would be like you, I mean, you lose your funding for the rest of this adventure um, because yeah. you have to empty. You have to give him all the petty cash uh, in order to, to so he can buy his surge there because uh, he promised enough. him actual surge and he doesn't have any money. He just wants the free yeah. soda. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, fuck yes. Six. <laughs> All right. He takes the tickets and uh oh. hell yeah. I'm gonna see Jonka whale on some fools. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you do you want the plus one yourself? Because I mean I, I can I can just give you both seats if you want, if you've got a date or some such. Two oh days yeah. Uh uh my other cousin Mary Mary Mary, uh, uh, Mary, Mary, uh, she's one to go to go too. She's yeah, my eighth, all right. fifth cousin removed, so that's legal. Woo! Yeah, totally. yeah, yeah, legal and normal. All right, good doing business with you, mate. See you around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I bail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so meanwhile, the... cause a problem, solve a problem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Clint, how are you going to help convince uh, Professor Port Obello? Uh, you're two out of four on the clock to, uh, um, Get him to make an antidote for you. I will. Yeah, what was your special thing? Um, he smells oh. chicken. Well, uh, no, his perk is fast talk. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you talk circles around someone that they become confused or compliant. So when you dig in, you get to do that. All right, I will dig in and do that. Okay. And I got a five and a six. So nice. There you go. You 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 start talk, talking circles around uh, uh, the professor. Uh, how how does that sound? I just sort of go into like a reverie of like how close he got to chicken, mm-hmm. and as a man who can exclusively eat chicken and <laughs> and be satisfied, <laughs> I just go on like a a chicken a Proustian chicken strip reverie, <laughs> <laughs> a dream of a fake chicken that won't kill you in uh, search of lost chicken strips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have a vivid memory of, of dipping a chicken strip into a chocolate Fanta fountain with my mother. And I, I, I go, it's like a whole Madeline thing. I get it's a really diesel powered <laughs> chocolate fountain. Yeah. Yeah. All you right. dreamed a dream of chickens gone by. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. He, he's brought to tears. Um, <laughs> and this is my first step to redemption. If I cure these people and undo the evil of my, my assistant of my former co-researcher then i can i can fi- i can finally make the missing link i know i can i believe in myself yes i will make that cure you bring them here and i'll cure them all i'll undo satoshi's evil um so yeah um and you know no wait i i, I think i remember um there was a satoshi asked me once about moving to our research to a large abandoned chicken processing plant um, outside of town. Um, what was it called? Well, there can't be that many. Um, it was. It was. Uh, uh, oh, 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 the the. Oh, they just called it the blender. Um, I think that's what the locals called it because um, that's what they did to chickens in there, essentially. Yes, yeah, where they make the pink slime. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Perhaps the, he's there. That would be a good place to look. I know he was he was obsessed with the place. Um so yes. Uh so yeah, you have a lead on the on the place now. Um so at this point we can do uh cracking the case. Uh so this is a different different than a murder. So um let's see <laughs> who who but it's different than a murder because it's a kidnapping, but um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To crack the case, you build a dice pool by uh you do you have you identified a suspect? Yes. Uh, and who is the <laughs> who who is the suspect? Satoshi Marlo. Alright. Backed uh, up with block and chain. Yeah, block and yeah. chain, yeah. Yep. Uh have you confirmed a method? Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, zombie yeah, powder. Yeah. Yes. Um pastelet, yeah. Yep. Uh well just powder, because he just sprinkled yeah. it uh, uh sandy in the pastelet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, the motive, um, uh, turning human beings into, uh, blockchain processors, blockchain, basically. Yeah. 
uh, um, food coin miners. <laughs> yeah. All right. Blockchain zombies, sir. Mm-hmm. Blockchain zombie miners, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Another day in the blockchain mines, but literally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's 3d6. So who wants to roll to determine your position when you uh, head to the blender uh, to take um... down the, um, you know, the guy? <laughs> uh, you know, uh-huh. the guy. <laughs> uh i'll roll it i only have two dice though, so somebody has to roll a third one. Oh, oh i'll roll a third okay i got a five and a two i got a six yes Yay. Right. holy shit this dice rules uh your theory <laughs> I, uh, is solid and you crack the case on your terms start in control uh i highly so... recommend the dice that come with the back to the future yahtzee set uh <laughs> apparently very good on sixes <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh in terms of this place um the uh so you start and you're, you're you're in control for your first role in dealing with the blender which is a large chicken processing plant and corporate uh campus um uh, uh, i'll tell you for free that a cursory check tells you the power and internet service of that place is still on uh so even though it's been abandoned because you know chicken uh mm-hmm. the someone is still running it there um are you a, are you gonna be are you gonna be all right agent in a in a place that's gonna smell this heavily of chicken I don't know. Am I? Um, <laughs> I'll give you experience points if it's not. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm not. It's going to. Uh, right. um, actually, to help our agent, a lot like werewolf this, um, but for white trash. Just the, ooh, actually, that actually, much. before we before we go in, can I do mm-hmm. one of my uh, my like rest actions because I'm almost tapped on appetite. Yeah, in fact, you can all oh, share yeah. a meal. Um, you could oh, all yeah. spin it down. Yeah. Oh, classic. Yes. And so you get all three d six, and you get to uh, uh, pick the highest one. That's how much. Uh, oh, I know just the place. Okay, excellent. I'm Where is y'all? Uh, Where we is go that? to Circle K. Circle K. <laughs> I kick open that fucking door and take a chicken. <laughs> I need to. I need to fuel up to fight the urges. <laughs> the 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 clerk there. She's just like, uh, oh, oh yeah. I, I I like. Uh, I just sort of crouch and fairly tear into the tenders in the back, just animal like. Um, yeah, um, there's a lot the- of them there. They're under one of those heat things, um, like hot dogs. Uh, oh hot dogs. yeah, good old heat Even roller. Perfect. Yeah. And before we leave, uh, do help. Oh, you can taste the industrial uh, grease. Yeah, yeah, to to help Agent Rutabaga, I'm going to take (laughs) one of the giant gummy bears, like the one singular gummy bears that they have for sale behind there. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. Several of the double-sided Little Debbie, or uh, it's like uh, oatmeal cookies, Mm -hmm. and reform it into a uh, into a sugary rebreather for him, so he (laughs) does he is not tempted by the other. It, it it filters out any of the chicken scent for him. <laughs> Candy yeah, rebreather. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh does it have that like... is lending a hand. So you, if you spend one appetite, you can do that. So okay, um, that'll negate the the. You'll still get the bonus experience. So the 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 the, the penalty will kick in if your rebreather gets damaged, mm. um, like as a complication in an action scene. Um, mm. But as as you're tearing into the 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 heat rolled uh, chicken tendies. Um and uh, old mustard sauces and barbecue <laughs> sauces. If you sauce them up, that's up to you. Um, and just taking one. Whatever... Oh no, I need a pure uncut. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> um. The uh. Yeah, you do see a sign on there. It's like fifty dollars per tendy. So the obviously you know black market tendy, uh, mm-hmm. tendy location. But you're just eating like a thousand dollars worth of chicken on the black market. Uh, mm-hmm. Between the three of you, um, yeah. What do you talk about as you're as you're? I imagine you're also just looting the store for whatever you want because you're <laughs> just abusing your authority. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're this is a shakedown. We're not gonna <laughs> arrest you, uh, but we're just I'm taking all your goddamn right. Um Yeah. So what do you talk about as you as you're eating? Hmm. A sense of the conversation. Are you talking about uh, the 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 case so far? Oh, I'm, I'm just I'm I'm actually going to talk about how I'm kind of bummed I'm going to miss out on the uh, the underground food murder ring, but also it's probably for the best because I don't want to be around his cousin for that long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I also, tell embarrassing stories about Leroy. Yeah, you you may want to yeah you like may want to about... check in on your uh, your your like fifth cousin Mary Mary or whatever because that that seems unhealthy. 
<laughs> is Mary Mary actually a cousin, or is Leroy lying about that? For on, on oh no, I'm reason? I'm uh, I'm I'm related to a uh, uh, stab every number of people. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay so what's the most embarrassing story you could think of about leroy um uh well he pooped his pants at a chick-fil-a one time and... <laughs> <laughs> was it on the last day of uh, yeah it was on the last day of, of Chicken Con, god 2014 um yeah uh, amazing yeah. uh Caleb gets an experience point. Uh, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Fucking rolling in it. All right. Um, he was rolling in it, actually. You see what happened. Um, yeah. Uh, do we get put him on a red appetite? list? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you get um, roll three d six because it's one d six plus one d six for every. Uh, it's rest and recovery in the playtest document. Mm-hmm. Basically, um, do we each roll them separately, or is that all? Uh, actually, it's for each approach you draw into the scene. So half bake mm. would obviously work, mouthy would work, um, mm. and if your partner touches an approach of their own. So I assume it's basically each of you touching one of your approaches. So each of you gets three D so. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. I oh, got a damn four. It. Do you get the maximum or the worst? The maximum. Okay. Yeah, I also got four. <laughs> All right. I got oh, five, well, I've been though. I've been using my sixes uh, at good times apparently, so I'm not mad. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So that's how much you get uh, is your highest number, and right. that's yeah. So you all spend that uh, fuel up before the big raid. Yeah, uh, thanks for your cooperation, uh, person at the <laughs> counter. <laughs> not even supposed to be here today. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, right. I I, apo- I apologize for this. So in it's like as consolation, uh, here is a whippet powered skateboard. Uh. She doesn't know what to say to that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but she's, I mean, she's not angry anymore. Uh, but yeah. But the kids like the skateboards, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this is probably fine. So, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, sure. Kids like that. <laughs> you, good, <you're, laughs> you didn't ruin, take a thousand dollars worth of uh, black market merchandise and just trash the store. Uh, I mean, do you, do you want us to break some windows so your bosses think it was an actual like raid or something? I mean, we can, you know, we can smooth it over. Uh, it's just more work for me. All right, fair enough. Have a good one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, now you, you need to figure out how you're going to tackle the blender. Um, Satoshi is somewhere in there. All the victims are somewhere in there. You do see the truck uh, from the uh, uh, park there. Um, in one of the loading docks. Uh, looks like they just brought it here and haven't moved it since. Um, but somewhere in there is also block and chain um, mm, guarding the mm. place. So um, they're, they're definitely going to be an obstacle. Um, so you need to, your objectives again are to capture, well, to capture uh, uh, Satoshi and uh, rescue the victims. Uh, those are your top priorities. Uh, capturing or, or taking out block and chain would be a secondary objectives. Not okay. absolutely necessary, uh, but um yeah you can do it stealthily you could do it loud uh whatever your first role is going to be it's going to be in control and we'll go from there but it's a big place um and you don't know where anyone is right now because you're looking at it from a distance and there's okay. no activity from the outside um do i still have the, some of the uh the charms poppers that i made for the interrogation uh sure okay uh, I could try to sneak around and then see if we can. I can use those as a distraction to get the the guards away from the door. Yeah, you can cause a distraction again. That would be mm-hmm. guts. That would be in control. So you okay. know, a safe way, a place. Um, if you go by the front gate, uh, it's a pretty open area. So if they go out there, they're going to be easy to see, and they're going to be away from everything else because the front okay. gates are away from everything else. So yeah, it's going to be a very good distraction. Oh yeah, so I uh, will just go there as a, uh, taking away the my FDA badge, just as the uh, uh, clueless uh, a clueless grandmother who seems to who is trying to find that's uh, uh, trying to find uh, her way down to the Hardies. So okay, uh, all right. So basically, when you do this, you're gonna uh, have two clocks: distraction and cornered. Um, okay. And, and when corner distraction fills up, they're gonna leave uh, and okay. come back to the guard post. Uh, cornered means that they've caught up to you and, um, they're, you're going to have to fight them or surrender. Uh, so that's going to be bad. Uh, okay. so, um, so ba- basically, uh, so you, since you're in control, uh, your, your 
cornered. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good depending on what you get. So, um, yeah. OK, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So and all right. Yeah, I, I know what I'm going to do right now. So, yeah, uh, I'll go up to the gate. Is there actually a buzzer on it or just. Um, anything or can I just there's, see them there's the like slack? a uh, PA thing. You you press it and someone, you know, it should crackle on and someone should hear you. Yeah. Uh, Excuse me. So I'm sorry to be a bother, but I think I'm lost and I do see some gentlemen up at the front. I wonder if you'd be able to get directions to the local Hardee's. I think they call them Carl's Judy's. I I don't know. I don't. Made from scratch biscuits. Wait, are you using the poppers or are you just trying to charm them? Like Uh, charm them first right now. I just want to make sure I can have these a little bit later. so. So you're just lying to them. Okay. so the charm, the poppers aren't coming into effect. Not yet, um, so I'll okay. keep those on hand. So go ahead and roll charm then. Uh, All right. Control. So you'll get one on each if you succeed, um, and if you get a, if you fully succeed, if you fail, well, I mean, yeah, um, if you succeed, you won't get anything. You'll get a, a, a zero on cornered and one on distraction. Okay. Uh, but if you get a complication, you'll get one on each. So all right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and dig in on this to get utilize sweet pea, so okay. I can give. Uh, to play up the the helpless motorist angle. Uh, six, got it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you get zeroed on cornered, and they are just—they are now distracted. And as long as the distraction does not fill up, uh, the other two player you see block and chain. They're coming towards you. Uh, but they're they're big dudes, and they're they're one is carrying a giant ass riot shield, and the other one has a large oversized cybernetic arm with a big chain thing on it. Um. So, well, like a bionic commando kind of chain arm. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, uh, uh, Caden and Clint now have an opening to sneak or run in. Um, and, uh, yeah. Or you can just all use this to ambush them if you want to take them out first. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Did we drive here? Uh, you have cars nearby. Yeah. Are they coming outside for the distraction? Yeah. They're outside. They're inside. Basically, imagine a massive. Like you, you're at a hill overlooking the whole place, mm-hmm. um, a small hill. So you can see like a big industrial campus, you know, with multiple buildings. But Hit them front- with a car. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna hit him with a car. All just right, I'm gate. just I'm all right. Shotgun on that. Let's do it. All do right, I need to jump top. out of the way of the gator? No, no. It's it's a pretty clear shot. You don't have to worry. Well, I mean, if they outright fail, well, uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be really great effect or desperate position because you're hitting <laughs> two uh, heavily armored uh, mercenaries with a car. So, oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna lend a hand because uh, we're we're being bold, right? Definitely, or half baked. Uh, really? <laughs> no, no, this is plenty bold. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, um, what do I roll for that? Uh, that's definitely guts. Uh, that's okay. definitely not instinct. It's not training. It's definitely no. not by the book. <laughs> uh, so it's guts. All right, uh, I will also dig in. So I'm rolling two dice. No, or three, because you get... Three. Oh, yeah, because I have nothing in guts. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so two, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wait, I have I one five. in guts. Two out oh, of five. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, I have one in guts if you want me to drive, but I'm used to driving on the other side of the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. This, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have new... Uh, the distraction corner goes away now uh, to block and chain. <laughs> um, I'm going to say they're both... Uh, uh, let's see here. Two out of six on being just taken out. Mm. Um, but both of you are going to have to make a resistance check. So uh, now resistance is basically uh, how you resist being hit with you know being in a car crash as mm. block has time to see you coming so he braces for impact uh with his massive riot shield and uh yeah he uh, so yeah this is immovable object versus unstoppable force kind of uh, <laughs> uh thing so how would you avoid getting he- heinously injured in this car I wear a seatbelt you wear a seatbelt <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> That's what they're designed for. <laughs> Your instincts are to just, yeah, trust in the seatbelt. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
you can roll instincts. Uh, and it's basically you take, you lose an amount of appetite equal to six minus your highest roll. Um, so, uh, Clint, how are you? <laughs> Is that a six as well? God damn right. <laughs> oh, right. I love these dice. Uh, Clint, how are you resisting the car, uh, uh, crash? Um, I d- the seatbelt sounds good. <laughs> All right. You can also roll instincts. All right. I mean, your side probably has a four and a three, uh, an airbag. You take, you lose two stress. Um, I All mean, right. two yeah, appetite. Sorry. <laughs> like, how I dare ran, you? I ran a long how blade you, of the dark. How could you do this? <laughs> I'm no longer immersed. It's broken. <laughs> um, but the car is totaled, obviously. Um, and uh, it is battle time for block and chain. Um, <laughs> so each of you will get to act. Um, uh, so Mama Maple, you were standing by, uh, so you're the first who you, you can act next because you just saw all this shit happen. And yeah, smoke them with your charms. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So actually, uh, how close am I to them now? I don't know how close you want to be. So actually, because I uh, enough right now where I have the taser and just lay on them with at least one of them on their uh, who are you uh, their metal arm block or chain. Uh, I'll do block since he, he has the one with the metal arm, right? No, no, that is chain. Oh, chain, sorry. Chain okay, has so the do... chain arm. Block has okay, yeah, the I'll... shield. Okay, yeah, I'll take chain since he has the metal arm and just lay the, the taser on the, the metal okay. arm, too, for Matt. Uh, it was like your cutest bones. <laughs> that's going to be guts. Um, okay. And uh, obviously risky. Um, if you fail or get a complication, you'll have to make a resistance check as well because he will hit back um, very hard. And uh, if you get a full success, you'll avoid that. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, and um, since it's risky, I'll say it does two uh, out of the six. Okay. Uh, well, two if you get a full success, one if you get a partial. So Okay. Uh, yeah, and I'm definitely digging in under Tough Cookie on that, so it okay. messes with us. Mm-hmm. Is the taser part of your gear? It is. Okay. So um, <laughs> I just didn't randomly play that. Thank you. <laughs> I know that's a question you feel like you have to ask, and I understand. I, I just want to make sure. <laughs> but... I am going by what was given in the pre-gen. Is that why so, you chose that pre-gen? No. Okay. Sure. I was Everybody looking at abilities. Me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and nice! I a full success. Yes. All right. So you <laughs> inflict uh, two on. You put his clock at four out of six um, as you shock his metal arm. And it is unable to. Uh, it, it has to reboot. Um, he's like, oh, God damn it. God damn it. Um, and he is unable to attack you, uh, to lash back at you. So, um, Caden, what are you going to do? Uh, a, uh, agent will want to just dogpile the shit out of the chain guy. So the guy with the shield's the only one left. Yes. I would, I would. Get him. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm going to just, I'm going to take a page out of agent. Uh, uh, I forget your names, uh, <laughs> book and I'm just going to fucking tackle the guy. Okay. Like That's he like odd. he did with Steve. <laughs> Tackling is definitely guts. Uh yeah. definitely risky. Mm. Um so same pretty much same rules um as uh Mama Maple's attack. Uh if you mm. have any do you have any gear or perks coming into effect? Um let's see. I I apparent like one of my things is contraband and mm-hmm. uh one of the examples is hot wings. So, uh, what it, like, how about I throw some fucking hot wing sauce on my hands and just, like, as I dive at him, try and grab him by the face. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> spicy grapple. <laughs> uh, why you give me the spicy eye gouge? Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. Uh, forbidden uh, hot, yeah, the hot sauce eye gouge, yeah. Uh, yeah, so same, same <laughs> rule, since you're, you're both using gear, so you both get that, that two, um. Uh, okay. But yeah, it's definitely guts. And uh, Clinton, if you spend an appetite, your action can be to assist him. Um, uh, I how, will do so. How are you assisting him? Are you just trying to like distract him, or uh... <laughs> throw me like a like Colossus oh, yeah. throwing Wolverine? Fa- yeah. Fastball, special. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll do the fastball special. Sure. <laughs> no. All right, I will dig in as well, irresponsibly, <laughs> uh, burning the appetite that I don't uh, can't afford. Well, I can, but uh, running low. And that should give me three dice, so. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't fail me now. Don't give me those goddamn fours. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? I got three twos. (laughs) All right. 
Um, unfortunately, a chain is flailing around uh, oh. so badly that you he, he, he twitches at the last moment and smacks you in the face. Um, oh. Make a resistance check. Oh, God damn it. Uh, what's resistance again? Um, in this case, it would be guts. Just roll guts and you know, oh. it's six minus your guts roll. Oh, good. Mine one die in guts. And, uh... Fuck you! <laughs> I oh. got a six! <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's kind of very cool oh. looking, but you managed to dodge roll out of the way. Oh, uh, yeah, with... that's where that's where the six comes. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I took back everything I said about you. <laughs> um. So, Block uh, uh, does get to act, uh, and he slams into Kate... Or, not into Kate, into Clint. Um... So, <laughs> Clint, uh, yeah, how are you doing? He's just bull rushing you with a massive riot shield. If you can think on I... your feet, yeah, you can do. Yeah, I don't know. What do you want to do? Trying to think. So I'm sorry doing. that I wasted all that appetite of ours on a terrible roll. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just attack him using my standard issue gear. Is that training and gear? I guess. Um, you can use instincts uh, for that because of, I will use you know, instincts I... and gear then. Yeah. Okay. Um. I will attack him. Yeah. Uh, so this is risky because you do have a gun, but um, you're shooting at a riot shield. Now, the riot shield does have a small opening so he can see, and that's where you'll be aiming in your close range. So that kind of negates it a little bit. So, yeah, it's definitely risky, though. Yeah, dot his eyes, agent. Got a four and a six. Yeah, yeah a six. Uh, so you uh, uh, shoot him. Um in the eyes, uh, the she- the glass, there was bulletproof glass in there, but it shatters, um, making him vulnerable. So the next shot through that opening will be, will take him out. Uh, he's at four out of six, uh, and you dodge out of the way. Uh, he's unable to complete, f- uh, go through on his bull rush. Um, so, uh, new round, uh, chain is recovered, uh, and he's looking real pissed at mama maple, uh aiming the chain arm uh about to launch a chain uh with a big nasty grappling hook kind of device um so what are you gonna do mama maple all right um so with him um can i take the rest since i'm near him can i use guts to take the rest of the charms that i have and just stuff them in his mouth so they just constantly go off um I wouldn't feel like you're that close, are you? Okay, am no, I, you right, can I be. Yeah, I mean, it, you can, you can you can definitely charge into melee and oh, okay. uh, try to do that. Yeah, uh, I would do that. That will that will take him out, even if you just get a complication. Force uh, feed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, if you get a complication, though, it's obviously going to be a resistance check. Okay, that's fine. So just another guts check to do this. Mm-hmm. Okay, and Ooh. yeah, that's so definitely digging in again. So oh, get him. I know. I You're a tough lose. cookie. You can do it. You are yeah. a tough cookie. Yeah. Believe in you. It's like, come on. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> it's not going to oh, be good. Oh, no. All right. Uh, make a resistance checks against Guts. Uh, her right. arm shoots out and s- smacks you square in the chest, knocking your charms out of the way. Oh, uh, out of hand. Yeah. So roll Guts, and it's six minus your Guts roll. Oh, that's not bad. All right. Oh, that's okay. So you you're winded and you lose an appetite, uh, okay, from that. Uh, but he's Ugh. still up, unfortunately. Um, and you you've lost your charms. Um, they're they're scattered mm-hmm. around on the ground. Um, oh, don't don't listen to that. You're still a charming woman. Oh, thank you, <laughs> uh, Caden. What are you gonna do? Uh, I mean, I I still got my hands covered in spicy chicken grease. So mm-hmm. with without like i'm i'm not going to be able to afford to dig in so with my one guts i'm going to attempt to, to spice now, up his face i would again. allow mama maple to distract uh to lend a hand by distracting chain because she does have the thing that draws attention people uh that's uh, true i mean yeah uh, i can do that although that is going to take yeah. that's going to take me down to my last appetite though so Oof. i'm going to be uh, i'm gone i am uh no hungry. you get a condition if you lose that and conditions yeah. are um T- listed like next you to can approaches st- you, yeah you can keep playing like okay. you're not knocked out you just take uh, a condition uh, oh i know that's uh, okay uh, then we definitely would apply that so yeah i'll go ahead and lend a hand for that to keep it um okay and do we want to wait on the condition until we've done the roll um well basically at full appetite you're fine it's just, just if you lose any more appetite you you get the condition okay so so if it takes you exactly to zero you're fine 
Okay. All right. That's fine. So, okay. But cool. if you, if you lose any more appetite, you, you take the condition. Okay. You that's go, going, oh, into, yeah. uh, going into negatives. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah. At zero, okay, you're cool. fine. At least right. that, that's my understanding. So yeah, go ahead and go ahead and make the roll with a bonus die. Spicy face grab. Come on. You'll take your medicine. Ooh, and like five it. and a, uh, five and a two. So five, five <sighs> complication is enough. Uh, sure. He is taken out. Uh, unfortunately, the massive uh, uh, mercenary falls backwards onto you uh, after you climb onto their back and uh, eye gouge them. He's like, ah! His, his chain arm over the, the, the neural impulse overloads a cybernetic arm. Uh, he, he, he short circuits and he falls down. Um, give me a instincts uh, to dodge out of the way as the Titan of terror falls. Oh, another five. Okay, so you take one more appetite um, as you were clipped by the thing or by All the right. by the body. He is, or you know, he's not dead. He's just knocked out. Yeah, he is. Um, he is incapacitated. <laughs> um, so Clint, you can take another shot at Block. He is. He is. Uh, I will do so. Get him. A four and a two. Okay, um, that will be enough to take it. But you will. Um, it's kind of similar. You you wait until the last moment. Do you see the whites of his eyes to shoot? Mm-hmm. Uh, but his forward momentum slams the shield into you. Um, so you can try and dodge out of the way with instincts um, to resist that. I will that. try that. I got a six. All right. Nice. You do dodge out of the way. Very good. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's so, what I was trying to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So you, you've done oh. there. Uh, uh, yeah. Um the three of you, uh, uh, but you know, you've had gunfire and explosives go off and a car crash. Uh, you're probably, you probably lost the element of surprise. But no, <laughs> slightly, maybe. <laughs> all right. Um, all of you can give me an instincts, uh, check as you sense your surroundings, uh, uh, look for, look for threats. Mm, nope. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Mm, I, I'm I'm still a little winded. Okay, Clint. Mm, um, so I can look for threats. Or are they all down? Yeah. Uh, well, look for like what? Well, where's Satoshi? Uh, you well, need to yeah, I'm definitely one. doing that. I, yeah. yeah. Do I so roll for that or? Yeah, yeah. Instincts. Instincts. Okay. Uh, three and a one. So no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're all. Yeah. All of your ears we all are suck. Running. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mop. So there's. Mop. Mm-hmm. three big buildings there's the one um there's some sort of industrial processing bi- thing where the truck is parked there's the corporate office um and then there is a mysterious squat building um mm-hmm. possibly a power station um he's a they're they're your suspect and your victims are, are in one of these three buildings uh, they might be in the same building they might be in different buildings you could split up and each take a building what do you want to do but yeah, you like split you- up. <laughs> that would be my argument. That would be a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we need to be together on this. Okay, so which building are you gonna go, all uh, go into? I mean, the hmm. I would well, assume. Which building- I would assume the one nearest the truck probably has the uh, zombie guys in it. Yeah, the uh, the the victims and all that. But okay. I don't know if I would expect Satoshi to be there. Or not. Um, hmm. Tox click, uh, clock is ticking. Bleh. Okay. Uh, um, I, I guess, like, what building were they standing in front of when I came uh, in? Oh, yeah. Did, did you, you see you, where they came from? No, you didn't. Oh, um, okay. They just kind uh, of emerged. It's night, by the way. There, I mean, there are there are lights, industrial lights, sort of. I charge towards the closest building. I have no idea what to do. So. Okay. Um, <laughs> just, the, just the, just the running closest, for it. All right. We, well, which they're all about equidistance. So there's the building with the truck, the squat building, and the uh, office building. Uh, I would say probably start with the one nearest the truck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The the processing mm-hmm. building. Uh. So the three of you charge in there. Um. And it is eerie. There is a low mist clinging to the ground. There are green lights everywhere, and there's dozens of computer terminals set up, but there is no one there. Uh, Ooh, but like there that. is a heavy mushroom scent in the air. Um and uh yeah, you all uh uh well uh Caden and uh Maples, uh actually both of you have to make because uh, we're not wearing breathing protection. You're not wearing breathing <laughs> protections. Uh, oh 
So uh, make a resistance check uh, against instincts to um, uh, cover your mouth and, and put a mask on. Um, I'll say the inspector, um, part of your standard gear would be uh, masks uh, for part of your FDA thing. So okay. Clint has some, but you didn't put them on. Oh, uh, sweet. Yeah. Okay. Never mind, Dice. I love you again. I got a six. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Mama uh, I'm having problems, so... Okay, yep. so you uh, take a condition. Which condition do you want to take? You get to choose. Uh, let's see. I'm um, impulsive, inviting trouble. Okay, uh, so the mushrooms cloud your head, and you, you kick in, and you're like, fuck this. Mama's pissed, uh, and you charge into the building, uh, uh, into the misty, green, weird server farm. Uh, that Mama's they're in there, there, yeah, just hurling some of the charms that I picked up on the ground. Yeah, blowing shit up. Uh, or so, they're supposed to be just noisemakers. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, no, yeah, if they're making noise, uh, uh, alerting your, your any enemies to your presence. Um, so, Mama, <laughs> you're, you're, you uh, get to reset your appetite. Um, okay. And uh, you take that condition. Um, does it reset to full? It, uh, yeah, it does reset to full when you do that. Oh, wow. So, um, so uh, let's see here. You invite trouble, reduce position if a condition applies. Uh, so basically, you have reduced position whenever your impulsive at, uh, uh, kicks in, which is right now. Like, uh, mm-hmm. So basically, you can't, you're not as effective now um, whenever you would be trying to plan something or not act impulsively so uh, <laughs> so uh how would you deal with running into an ambush uh mama maple uh going right into the ambush uh so i'll just immediately try to go into uh actually no i know that i'm a distraction okay. so i'm just going to be running serpentine uh using saccharin to try to get them to target me as much as possible so hopefully my other Two colleagues can come in and actually fight. Okay, I'm... roll uh, instincts. Okay, uh, would that be charm instead? No. Um, so eat for the distraction? Or? No, it's instinct because you're getting grabbed by zombies. Oh, this. okay. Okay. Yeah. So, all right then. Uh, but uh, I would say your saccharin counteracts your impulsive to a degree. So yeah, go ahead and roll instincts. Okay, and I can still dig in if I need yeah, to. Yeah, you can start burning that. I mean, I again. mean, if you want to, if you want to clear your impulsive, you could just literally yell at us for help, which would also draw the zombies' attention to us. <laughs> That's true. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me get my attention and then yell help. So I'll, I'll just roll my. Uh, I'll dig in once to roll my instinct. Okay, yeah. there we go. Success. Nice. Um, like, well, you can only do the act of recovery during the initial part of it, during the free play section. Mm-hmm. We're at cracking the case, so you can't just immediately clear it. Um, okay. You can't do it as a downtime activity. Okay. Uh, okay. So what'd you get? Uh, a six? Uh, I okay. have six full success, so. Okay, so uh, zombies oh, rush nice. out of the mist to grab you. Um, you are uh, back away from them and not immediately grappled by them. Um, but you know, but you, you've, you've raised the alarm. You can see... Uh, you actually see Satoshi. He is uh, currently guiding the rest of the zombies into the back of the truck. He's trying to flee, uh, but he left uh, about a half dozen zombies as a distraction uh, as the rear guard. So um, he is uh, uh, currently boarding up, but you've you've located the source of trouble and all six zombies are chasing you now, <laughs> uh, clearing a path for your other two agents. So yep. Caden, as I'm... And, well, hold on. That's all you're oh, no. able to do this second. So Caden mm-hmm. and Clint... Um, Caden, you or uh, you get a mask from Clint in time, mm-hmm. um, and the two of you rush forward, and you can see all this happening. Uh, you see that the the zombies are chasing after uh, Maple Agent Maple, and uh, on the right side of this building, on the left side, you can see a loading dock is open. The zombies are are getting in, and Satoshi is about to close the semi truck so he can then rush forward, hop in the truck, and drive away. Um, so, uh, Clint, what are you going to do? Um, can I shoot at the tires? Yeah. Uh, that would be, uh, uh, snapping off a quick shot. I guess that would be training. Okay. I'm going to dig in one last time. Okay. I'll run out, but, um, I would say, yeah, uh, uh, five and a four. All right. So you succeed, uh, but 
you have to stop and slow down um, and to do that. So you're just going to be in a worse position uh, to do anything closer, uh, you know, to try and if you wanted to try mm-hmm. and tackle somebody or something like that. So basically mm-hmm. you, you have to hang back, but you shoot one of the tires, um, thus limiting uh, your I would say there's a clock now, a six clock to capture Satoshi, and that'll put it at one at, at six. So, and then Satoshi getting away uh, is also at zero out of six. So whichever one fills up first is what happens. Um, so, uh, Caden, what are you going to do? I'm going to run and attempt to, like, jump on the truck Indiana Jones style. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and prevent uh, uh, an attempt to, like, mm-hmm. you know, stop him from driving away. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, that would definitely be um, instincts uh, to do that. <laughs> That's definitely going to be risky. Oh, yeah. Uh, but getting your, putting yourself between, so you can focus on getting on the truck or get, making sure Satoshi, Satoshi, remember, is not on the truck. Okay, he then is, yeah, I'm going to try and stop him from getting to, like, yeah, yeah. into the truck then. Yeah. He was just about to fit and go to the front of the truck, but he mm. was, like, closing the door as all the rest of the last of the zombies gets in. Mm. Uh, he slams the door shut, and then you run in and do, make your roll. Uh, oh, yes. Six. Six and a four, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Um, so you catch up. He, uh, you get real close to him. So you get you're at two out of six. Um, you're 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 basically between him and the, um, you're between him and the truck. Uh, but so yeah, he's gonna have to deal with you next. Hmm. Um, now Maple. Um, there's six zombies between you and everything else um and these are victims remember you can't you can't just take them out but they are yeah um gonna you're gonna have to deal with them uh because they've been given orders to stop intruders so okay uh this is not a problem so uh oh i was meaning to say prior to that when i saw the truck was just saying like oh it's hans in the zombie truck again it needs to be (laughs) destroyed so Mm -hmm. um but uh yeah i don't want to do that um but yeah you can't uh, do you're not in a position to stop satoshi at all until you deal with these zombies yeah i try to get out there um i do have my snacks with me so can i take several uh, are there any fans around me uh, i'm sure to to, like to try to keep like the zombies cool or at least fed <laughs> uh utilize that to uh, try to grab one of those and then create a uh, dust storm with several of the the large scale pixie sticks that i have with me <laughs> what what are the pixie sticks going to do? So, uh, basically enough, uh, uh, basically enough chat. So basically, blind pocket sand, but with yeah, pocket uh, sand. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah, that'll be risky, but um, if you fully succeed, you you uh, blind the zombies temporarily. Um, okay. And if you get a complication, they'll be they'll grab onto you before you blind them. And okay. If you fail, they they just grab onto you. So. Um, yeah. So. Yep. All right. Uh, yep. And digging in again. So with tough cookie, uh, partial five. Okay. Uh, so they're blinded, but one of them grabs onto you. Um, so, uh, you can't get away from them, but they're not hurting you. So, okay. um, you can, if you give up, uh, your equipment, uh, you can rip your, rip your equipment away and escape. And then affect Satoshi next round, or you can try and break free of the grapple next round. Um, I'll go ahead and let the gear go. So I'll take off, you know, the, whatever undersling I have for the taser and every anything else in my my snack bag, mm-hmm. and run okay. for, and make a run for it. Let them let them eat that. Maybe something else than mushrooms for a while. So okay, uh, new round, uh, Caden. Uh, Satoshi um, throws uh, blow some pocket cordyceps powder at you. Um. You're going to have to get out of the way. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I was muted there for a second. Um, okay. Yeah. All what instinct, I assume, for, for dodging out. Yeah, that would work. Uh, okay. uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Twos again. God damn it. Okay. This is going to be guts to resist this. Um, hmm. uh, because it's, it's trying to control your mind. Hmm. All right. Well, I have one in guts, so that's fun. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. Four. Uh. So yeah, you lose two appetite. All right. That bottoms me out then. Uh. Do you go into negatives? Yes, by one. Okay. So pick a condition. 
I'm going to go with... I like impulsive. Impulsive feels nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So you're also impulsive. Fuck it. Uh, we're going to do it live. Uh, yeah. Goddamn right we are. All right. Well, Satoshi did that, uh, and it didn't stop you. Mm-hmm. Um, but he is uh, clearly... Uh, so he hasn't advanced any further. Clint Howard, what are you going to do? You, you're going to like threaten Satoshi. Um, actually, since, to, since I'm yeah. impulsive, I'm just going to call on Clint to fucking shoot. I don't care if I'm over here. Fucking fucking nail the guy. He's not getting away. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just shoot him. I'll get out of the way. Come on, shoot him. <laughs> Sick of his shit. Well, Clint, are you? <laughs> uh, I will shoot him. Yeah. All right. Uh, six and a four. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it whizzes by the air by Caden. Uh Whoa! and it puts two onto him. You you you've shot him uh in the um uh in the arm. non-lethal hit point yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, in the shoulder. So uh he staggers back. Um uh, he's very close he's you not not there's not much fight left in them, but there's some. Um so, uh, Maple, you did escape from the uh, zombies. Uh, they're, yep. they're slowly pursuing you, but you have a chance to do something to Satoshi to try and capture okay. him. What are you going to do? Uh, so, how close are the zombies behind me? I mean, 10 feet ish. Like, okay. You know. All right, then I'd like to. It, would it be a charm or a guts roll using my saccharin to basically lead them towards him while he's distracted and then have them hit him dogpiled by his own zombies? Um, that would definitely be charm. Yeah. Okay. Then I will go with that and utilize my last, uh, sweet pea roll. It's like, no, come with me. Come with grandma. We're going to okay. go visit dad. All right. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> All right. Come on. Get him. Get, get, get him. Oh, pff, no, no, that's <laughs> not 13 D6. <laughs> no, I tried. <laughs> Let me try that again. Man, Jesus. that's a hell of a roll. Yeah, that's a lot. Wow, you did real good on that one. I keep that <laughs> one. <laughs> but I'll take the five, though, on that for the partial success. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, uh, there's collateral damage. Uh, Kane, <laughs> oh, I'm maybe. over there. I should definitely get tackled by zombies, oh, too. You sorry, definitely Kane. get tackled by it, yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and give me a guts of resistance check to see how well you do with the zombies mauling you <sighs> badly. <sighs> Five. That means that they're not very good at it. Um, hmm. They're just large adult sons. They, they don't have sharp teeth. <laughs> All right, so I guess I take one. Yeah, you take one. Um, but yeah, you capture them. A good job. Uh, <laughs> you crack the case after you 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 drag them away from them. They they quickly lose the fight, and they're just kind of mindless uh, people. Um, but you're able to get Professor Port Obella is able to cure them quickly. Um, <laughs> Is there anything you want to ask or say to the Satoshi as you as you drag him away, uh, Clint? Uh, no, you scum! It's not, <laughs> you're not worth talking to. How, how oh. could you do this? <laughs> <laughs> Sully the good. Oh yeah, yeah, Clint. Don't don't further. forget he's don't forget he's the reason the the chicken flavored mushroom project failed. Uh, yeah, I. I hit his head, putting him in the car. <laughs> uh, all right. So um, the uh, so to go through your uh, your your performance rating, your your um, <laughs> debriefing. Um, did you maintain a low profile? Uh, yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. We very much. <laughs> There was, there was at no time did we rob a convenience store or drive a car over a couple of dudes. Mm-hmm. Very low profile. Um, I would say uh, I'll give you one point on that uh, <laughs> because you did shake down a Circle K or uh, th- throwing your badge around. Um, <laughs> Now you did. Uh, did you complete the assignment? Investigation as signed. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we we f- yeah we, we did we, do we, that. The kidnappers. Uh, yeah. We get so, res- We may be loose cannons, but we get results. Mm-hmm. So I'll give you three points for that. Um, and then reputation. Did you take steps to improve the rep- uh, team's reputation or image? Hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, I I kind of I mean, you we know. got the job done. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I you mean, also got Professor Port Obella to to renew. Uh, oh yeah, his, we did. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we so made some further. Yeah, made some further friendly connections to the underground fighting world. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, your funding uh, is six out of eight, and your reputation is five out of eight, and your clearance is two out of eight. Uh, one when it gets to eight, you actually get an additional die in that hmm. whenever you have to roll that. So uh, that's how you improve your agency. Um, but you all will get, I will say, just f- let's see. There is also, um, in terms of experience, you also get experience for each of those. Uh, so you all get, f- let's see here, uh, four experience points. So you should all level. I mean, get an advancement. Mm-hmm. Yay. Um, da, 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 and you da, all da, have a downtime, da, 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 da. so you can just go and you can clear conditions uh, as part of that. Uh, oh, yeah, good uh, idea. And that is done by connecting um, to connect with somebody, name another character, say what you do together. If the scene is resolved, you may unmark any condition you feel you've worked through. So um, let's see here. If you. So I'll just say uh, this. So this is like an NPC you spend time with. So uh, Mama Maple, is it your grandson? Uh, yeah, my, yeah, it would be my grandson along with my actual dependent, which is Tofu the Westie. So, but I will. I, okay, I will so spend... what do you do with Tofu and uh, your grandson? Uh, Adam. So uh, in particular, you know, we haven't actually gotten through a walk in the park mainly because that we're trying to avoid any or bigger things. But he, uh, but I, I don't want to be in front of a television screen all day and i bore him endlessly with th- uh, telling him how i actually managed to make all of the uh crt televisions uh run off <laughs> of uh not run off of jolly ranchers um clint what horrifying thing does the grandson try to talk about um you know he's the kind of kid who would show <laughs> his grandmother hellraiser so um what, um, what is what is an vaporwave? He's really trying to explain it to her. Wow, <laughs> it's such right. a bad choice. God, it's never gonna work. <laughs> Just yeah. brutal. But uh, Kale loses an experience point. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I look over to my grandson. I said, "Honey, I uh, I want to tell you I love you, but I haven't understood a thing you've said since you were two years old." <laughs> well, you really need to listen to this podcast about it. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, it it's on the list. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, um, Caden, who is the person you spend time with to, to clear your condition? Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to go down to my, uh, my local sports bar after hours and we're going to queue up the, uh, the live stream of the, uh, the underground, uh, food fight and, uh, and yeah, just, just knock them back and, uh, see if well, we can, well, who, who is the person you're, you're, you're watching this with Uh the bartender. What's his name or her name or their name? Uh, hmm. That's a good question. Uh, I'm going to go with. Cro- oh, well, I'll, obviously, Alistair. Alistair. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Alistair. Yeah. Uh, you and Alistair have a pleasant evening. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Because we, we turn on the stream and Alistair says now recording. And uh <laughs> <laughs> Um, the guy that the zombified guy is no longer zombified, uh, there, the, the powder wore off. Mm. Uh, so he's very confused and asking to be, be let out. But, uh, then when he gets a hand of a lasagna bat, he's, he's a natural. Um, <laughs> so, um, Clint, you don't have any conditions, so you can rest and recover again if you want. Um, I will. All right. Uh, so how, how does Clint recover from today? Does he, does he tear into some contraband chicken tendies yeah that's the only way that's the only thing that makes him feel alive anymore <laughs> where's it well he tapped the circle k where's his new source jeez uh evidence locker he's just not oh damn i mean we we did just roll through a, a place that used to be a chicken factory like maybe he found some oh uh, yeah there's mm-hmm. there in the freezer. There is a couple cases that are frostbitten, but they're still good. Oh, but only you could find them because of yeah. your super nose. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's like, I like ah, it. actual chicken tendies. Oh, uh, <laughs> they're even so, aged to perfection. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's character advancement. Um. Uh. Oh yeah. So there are individual questions. Did you feel fallout from your condition, trouble, or quirk? Um, gain one XP if you did. Do you embody one or more approaches this session? Gain one XP. Uh, you resolve the adventure. Gain one XP. 
And did you make a cute new connection? Gain one XP. So yeah, it gets everybody uh, would do that. Um, oh, there is the co- uh, commend or reprimand. Uh, and you I gain mean, XP I, I, per, per reprimand or a, a accommodation. So it doesn't I definitely, matter. I definitely commend uh, Caleb for the French cigarette thing. That was... That was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Caleb, who, who do you want to reprimand or uh, uh, commend? I would never. I would never do that to my <laughs> colleagues. Yeah, so- solidarity uh, I would with like our, to commend uh, <laughs> Mama for giving me a uh, confectionery uh, rebreather. Oh, yeah, yeah that was sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Mama uh, Maple, yeah. Uh, I want to commend Caden for getting into probably one of the most amazing that's uh, uh, the amazing fights ever <laughs> taken they ever took place in an abandoned fast food joint and then and then I just leave yeah <laughs> Uh, one, of, one of my one of my favorite de share zone posts you can just leave if it <laughs> sucks <laughs> hit <the fix. laughs> uh, yes. so when you get a eight xp you can earn an advance you can spend to improve one of two playboy playbook specific attribute <laughs> ratings um or choose a new playbook perk or earn a custom advance work with a gm to determine what that might be so um yeah do any obviously since you know uh you don't have to pick it right now but if you what would you pick uh uh like does anybody have any ideas of what they would advance next hmm. uh, like what perk would you want next i guess just to give people a little better idea of like what else you can ooh, do oh man i would absolutely get troublesome when your character willingly invites another pc's trouble into the situation recover to appetite <laughs> oh damn <laughs> Uh, I like that's a that. good one for stirring up problems. Mm-hmm. I would have uh, picked with a cherry on top, which um, when you get down to one segment, you just fill the last segment. So basically, oh, that's, yeah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's real good. Mm-hmm. Um, I really, yeah, uh, the one I like the most out of this is Ninja Cream Puff. So uh, that people underestimate you, and when you let them up, uh, you can engage in hand to hand combat with charm without suffering a penalty to position or effect. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely you. You definitely really <laughs> could benefit from that. Um, yeah, uh, several times in this session, in fact. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, cool. So that's that's Chew, the role playing game. If this is a full campaign, we'd be. I would, of course, have led on like, ah, oh, Nomcoin was only part of a darker conspiracy to take over the world or mm. something. Yeah, it goes all uh, the way to the top. <laughs> it goes all the way to the top. Um, but that's a sense of you know the gameplay and everything else. So it's on. I, I feel like nom. Yeah. I feel like the Nomcoin conspiracy would inevitably lead to some uh, food based Elon Musk. Yeah, uh, <laughs> un- undead McAfee, uh, perhaps. Oh, <laughs> undead McAfee! I like yeah. undead McAfee. That's yeah. that's even better. Uh, yeah, turkey work work into some McDonald's jokes too. Which is the Mac, yeah. T- turkey Bezos. <laughs> yeah um yeah but that's it uh it's on on kickstarter for october and uh i had a lot of fun playing it so uh, yeah it's very fun yeah yeah good times uh any other uh, thoughts about the system as we play through um um just i really what we covered before too i really like the streamlined portions of this too especially like with the appetite to be able to get right back into what we were doing without mm-hmm. it feeling like mm-hmm. it was just completely mm-hmm. you're completely out which is it's some as much as one that i had with the blind eye ca- blind eyes campaign when we ran that um mm-hmm. it sometimes felt like we got a little stuck so yeah, I was actually like if I'd really thought about the way these mechanics work earlier, I probably would have been spending a lot more appetite and just like taking conditions and seeing what happens since like things keep going and it just gets more like complicated, I guess. Yeah, um, I mean, you can choose to let your character be knocked out instead of taking a condition, but like conditions are not like you can just clear them like unlike yeah. in Blades in the Dark where conditions are permanent uh, traumas are permanent. So um, that's a pretty big thematic difference. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we and there's things we didn't really touch on that much, like you know the factions and uh, troubles as much. But yeah, um, yeah, uh, cool. Anyways, uh, thank you all for listening. And uh, before we go, oh yeah, uh, Caleb, uh, wh- anything you want to plug in particular? <laughs> I know so um, much. Yeah, I do a ton of stuff. Um, scary APs, stupid APs, half finished APs, uh, <laughs> games designed as jokes. Um, so uh, I have a link tree. It's the same as my Twitter, um, Hebanon G Cal. So if you want to see what I do, it's all on there. So. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Aaron, anything you want to? Uh, yeah, uh, you can uh, always find me at, at Aaron Carson at Twitter. Uh, also, uh, and in addition to uh, playing games with everybody here at RPPR. And I also do a Twitch stream, uh, Raillery Podcast Streaming, Wednesday nights. Uh, so you can check out the games that we've doing there. All right. And um, Thad, anything? Uh, if this comes out in October, I will probably be doing more things. I was planning on starting to Twitch stream, like, just doing readings of public domain literature because it amuses me to do so, or possibly mm-hmm. like uh, reading Marx to anger people that would be angry at me reading Marx. But, <laughs> uh, but I don't really have that set up yet. So I can be found on Twitter, uh, unfortunately at Thaddeus strange. And uh, yeah, where I just, no one should use Twitter, but I spend too much time there. <laughs> All right. Agreed. Uh, a resounding endorsement. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, bye. Bye. Bye.